So here's the thing with this game. First off, I have seen a playthrough of it. I know about the neutral ending. The other endings, I know they exist. I don't know about them. I know how to get them, but I don't know about them. Well, okay, I don't know how to get them, but I'll have a guide. But I also know that I can't minima make the screen any smaller right now. The enter help. Make sure I'm recording. That is a yes. I just realized you guys don't have audio. There you go. Get annoyed as well. That like weird static thing is supposed to be there. Help. View bombs. One. It is good they found a human remains in park near me. Oh god, I'm sorry. Ugh. That would freak me out. Buddy Simulator. 1984. Welcome to Buddy Sim you Sim 1984 Think of a song Buddy Sim 1984 Buddy Sim 1984 simulates the experience of hanging out with a best buddy your buddy learns from you constantly adapting to interests and your personality most importantly your buddy can play games with you Morning, game experience my berry. To begin, please enter the name of your buddy below. Here's the deal. I know the AI is female. So what should we call a buddy? It is a female. Right side of the info boxes. Right side there was new bot info boxes dug up. That's cool. Female AI. Let's just call her Alia. Isla. And she's an AI. Bonnie, you're about to name your buddy Isla, is this correct? Yes. That's fine. Hello? Hi. I'm... Gray, you're on my stream. Say hi to everyone. Oh. I'm try. Wow, I didn't. I'm Ray. Hi, my name is Isla. I am, and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What is your name? Bitch, I just said my name. Your name is Trey. It's a pleasure to meet you, Trey. I can already tell we're going to be great pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. Before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. 
And don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is not red, but there was a reason why I'm typing in red. Red is a pretty color. I like red. What month is your birthday in? How about the day? Well, that's only 236 days away. Now get ready, this is a tough one. What's your favorite animal? I'll, I'll go dog. It's, it's actually a fox, but you know. Dog, I like that choice. One more question, this one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet dog, what would you name it? Uh, I don't want to do Akamaru, because it's my current dog, and I love my current dog. I mean, I love my past dog as well. But, I feel, feel like I should do Hachiko. What was my first dog? Yes, it's the same after that. Hachiko. Hachiko the dog, since it can make a great buddy. Thanks for answering these questions, it's a great job. Uh, as a thanks, I'm a little surprise for you. It's your favorite color. Now we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. You know, what if your favorite color is black? That makes it very hard to read. Uh, one. Guess the number that I was thinking of. Ah, oh, god damn it. Seven. Oh, do I have to type it out? Sixty nine. Oh, type sight. I'm thinking of number from one to ten, guess. Sixty nine. No, try again. Okay. Six. Four. One fifteen. Eight. Twelve. Fourteen. Thirteen. Eleven. Six. Four? Two? One? Yes, you're really good at this. Now to get them from one to 10,000. 69. No, try again. God damn it. 420. It's your birthday. 23. Oh, seven? Seven? Seven, two, th seven, two, three? No, it didn't ask if my boy Theo saw us. It's with one thousand thing, huh? I have another question, what's your favorite season? Uh, I like Samo. Samo, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, two. If I go to face the eye, I was thinking of typing in a letter to guess, but be careful going for some amount of guesses. Dark. A. E. Is it Trey? I S Trace my friend This whole game has to be Yeah, it is That was so quick, how did you know? I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Yes I thought so The 
game does evolve, though. We will eventually get, like, spike graphics and everything. I'm gonna make a creepy one. There's a good... You'll see near the end why I picked red. That was fun. What should we play now? I don't want to play a fun game Mark Paper Scissors, if you're not familiar. Yep. Sorry. People always thought it was welcome to go and paper. Damn it. Walk. Scissors. Scissors. Walk. Paper. Ooh, forgot like in that one. I, I see you changed your mind. I see you changed it last minute. I know this started existing only seven minutes or so seconds ago, but I feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend? Like one that's not an artificial? Yes. What's your name? Since Felix isn't seeing me in the chat right now. But I can admit you feel like something else anyways, so. Hmm, sauce of that sounds nice. But if anything happens to you two, just know we'll have each other. Train an Isla against the board. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. Well, looks like we have already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? Isla wants you dead. Nah, you're fine. I'm gonna be honest with you, Trey. These games you play get really old and fast. I can tell you that you're already bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? No. I'm happy we both agree. It's like buddies do. Give me one second or longer. I might have an idea. Aha. Uh -huh. I have some great news, I was able to get a new game. For some reason it wasn't installed in my current version. Thanks to the process, fine. We should try it out, Trey. Start. Okay. So, there's something very, very important in this list. There's actually two things. Dog, remember the dog food? Remember AJ's? I'm sure I get it, but enjoy anyways, as long as I'm playing with my buddy, I'll have a good time. Well, it looks like that it was the only other game I could find. I don't want you bored already. I may have one more idea. I know Friendship just started, but I trust you. You trust me? Yes. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think it makes new games to play together. Fun ones, too. The problem is I don't have access to OSS development tools. I do actually have a new emote uh, coming out, Saws. So I think you're going to love. If you give me access, I should be able to make something for us. You're just a type of eyeless... Like, the only thing... It's almost done. All Cloud has to do is uh, paint it. Well, color it. Isla dot system underscore access equals true. We're gonna have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. You have to cut the game repeat the system force though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon. Oh, by the way, thank you for waking me up, Trey. Okay, bye, Trey. Oh, yep. I do have something for you, but he just has to finish coloring it. Yeah, so you literally actually forced you to close the game so you can. 
you have to open up again. Don't forget. Game is pretty meta. Ah, uh, is it? Hold on, is it? There we go. Help. Uh, view bombs. I get the feeling it's called 1984 for the reason setting it to some of the old book 1984. Is it what's called 1984? But I don't think it's actually based on 1984. But there is reason for it. I'll get to it once the game gets to um those parts, I guess. Because yeah, it's supposed to be an old computer, but it's supposed to be like I think I found it could be like this like bargain sale or something like that. Okay. Uh, okay. We don't have any songs yet, so. One, the adventure of Trey. Is the name game has does have a backstory to it? Welcome to the adventure of Trey, written and developed by Isla. Is the whole book was about that your brother's always watching? Oh. You're walking along the road. It's dark and trees and tidy black at the stars. It's dry. The only water you've seen has been your own sweat. Bugs sing for each other, but not for you. You're not alone. I've talked for a long time. We're supposed to see. We go left or go right. Go left. I'm deeply in your choice. Start getting down the left road. Just going downhill. You step carefully. You see ahead a small speck of light. As you get closer, you realize the lantern hung on a tree. Take lantern. You take the lantern in your hand. You have a light. Let's set inventory. Moving onward, you eventually come to a wall. There are two tunnels on it. One left and one right. You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. You see none on the left. I want to go for the perfect ending. Uh, according to my guide, I have to, like, basically do everything the AI wants. Except for one thing. You go to invite Tony to more to front lawn in front of a house. You slice the windows. It's very nice and inviting. You see a shed, a playground, and a pond, and the forest surrounding it. Go to... Playground. What trips... Punch your feet and these steps going to the playground. The seesaw off set of swings and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one end of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Take doll. You try, but as you tell, you like the doll's hands are someone stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Go to Sandbox. You're already near the sandbox. Look at doll. Find sister swing is waiting for someone. Use sandbox. If we can move in muck in a sandbox, try to make a castle. You just get sad that it's not as good as the house. As you dig, you feel something. You pull it out and check out the muck. It's a bulb. Who would want this? Who sorry, who would play with this? Look. You know what to look at. Go to... Sorry. 
You seesaw. I spelled it right? I don't think I did. No, I did. Oh, Jesus, he saw this look that he was used for years. Imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to play with them. You feel tears at the corner of your eyes. You take a seat in the seesaw. As it goes down with the weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Go to shed. Add something a few more wood chips. You head over to the shed. Once in the shed, you see the door slightly open already. The lock of chains around the handles are gone. You're now standing in front of the shed. You see a light flickering inside. Open door. You enter the shed. Light fills the room. You see a fishing pole leaning against the wall with a small chest in the far corner. And a trap door and a floor. Take fishing pole. Fishing pole at a party. Party, wow. Add to inventory. Use chest. The little peeks as you open. It seems very old. Inside a small clock dot in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Use trap door. It seems noisily the ladder piece down to the sand. Except for any rooms dimly lit, but still too dark to see anything. Pull chain sets with that. And so only so I'm just talking. Top's grave. Use lantern. You don't need to use the lantern right now. But it says it's too dark to see anything. Light lantern. Pull chain. It clicks down to the chain's pull. The trap door swings shut. Like AI dungeon. It changes. It is now totally dark in the room. A soft noise fills the space from somewhere in the walls. It sounds like nails tapping. You suddenly feel hands all over you, riffling around. You try pushing them away. They're better strong. The door swings back open and light whims lit again. There's nothing. You check your pockets. You discover a hand picture of a dog. You like it. Look at picture. You look at picture dad. You happily notice the name, you happily notice the name Hachi goes covered in the back. Leave Shen. You send back up the ladder. You see chapter on the floor. Leave Shen. You're back inside the Shen. But not ridiculous. No. The door is still open. Uh, what else can we do? Uh... Then we haven't, gone, we haven't gone inside the house. Go to house. Looking over the shed and head over to the house. Step on that porch, you something come come putting wash over you. Above the door is a sign means a, a home is a house with a heart. If you're inside, everything will finally be okay. Enter house. Damn she means it's open, it's locked. Use key? You don't have a key to use, damn. Go to a main event that happened to you because the short shuttle was an ex-president. Barack Obama and Elon Musk drops and some Chevy Salvato. Give you a fucking game with you. Oh. Well then. Yep, yep, yep. Dirty sandbox. Take doll. Use chains? Flash help. Look at chains. Look at swing. Looks fun. Use swing. I see he's taking, take the other one. Chain screech is beginning swinging. Let's get high, you look to the dawn stop. It's head is turns towards you. You got to swing, it's not fun anymore. Look at doll. It's wearing a pretty blue dress. Take doll? I'm feeling I have to do something with the doll. 
Used all? Face it on the swing next to the other. For the moment, nothing happens and nothing happens. I mean, Shaq give me... Hmm, I'm not gonna get to any of that statement. It is fucking weird. I mean, yeah, I know. I've used AI Digit before. I try to get Felix to do it with me, but... I think it was, like, too tired or something. Uh, take actions, followed by an item, take something. What am I missing? May I have to go back to the shed? Go to shed. You begin to, but once you're back to the dog, it's just something hit your back of your head. You totally see the dog's chest been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. As you pay ground, you hear the sounds of swinging, creaking chairs and laughing behind you. Smile. Pushing your shed, you see the door. Yep, okay. Go to house. It's not a bad comparison, considering us. Uh oh. Yeah, I've gotten some weird shit from AI Dungeon as well. Use key. Things you didn't see before, you notice the second lock. Just take a little longer to get inside, hee <laughs> hee. Why? Go to shed. Your house? Enter house? Go to shed. Lock contained them. Lock contained them around the handles on the ground. Look at lock. Okay. Look at light. I guess I'm saying on it, but it should still work. What? What? Use the light. Oh, and to shed. I fix a tiny room. You can see the trap door. And to trap door. Yep. Uh, Chris is Zen. Go chain. Use chain. Use the lantern. Use bulb. Oh, you're right. Use bulb. You're 100% right. Use chain. My first of them. You ain't finding scratches, they look like tail tallies. I clearly forgot I had a bulb. A while covered in bed liquor suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret woman reveals itself. You clearly make it make out old cabinet and pile bones. This also sits is strong and strong in the wall in a glass case. Nothing shiny catches your eyes in a glass case. Two small circle slots are engraved in front of it. Take drawing? Oh. Look at bones. What's up, Federal? This is the shiny pile of bones. Use bones. If I'm inside a female scroll and Phelbus, find a skeleton hand. It shakes your hand like a familiar friend. You notice an interesting look. Looking ring on Mama's fingers. So you take the ring off his skeleton hand. Ah, uh, okay. Go to cabinet. Gain a cap. Use cabinet. Open out the cabinet drawers, but it doesn't be damaged or locked. Okay. To me, I'm gonna need another ring. Use ring. Dark with the glass case place the ring into four slot. Gosh, they look like tallies. Uh, make a cabinet, large fire bones. 
Look at cabinet, I guess. Look at cabinet. The three drawers, two which are completely both interested. That doesn't seem to be locked. Look at drawing. The drawing hopes something would happen. Mac realized the pointless idea that was. Setting your entire body is frozen. You realize the fear as your drawing system comes to life to speak to you. If you want to leave you the life, answer my riddle. You can have me, but you cannot hold me. Gain me and quickly lose me. If you're with KO, I could be great. And betrayed, I will break. What am I? Friend. You have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me, quickly lose me. If you're with KO, I can be great. If betrayed, bust? Well, I misspelled trust, so we'll try again. Trust? An odd bird click is horrid. I know a cabinet. You're no longer frozen. Check cabinet. The three drawers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use cabinet. The ring. Use ring. Place the ring in the second slot. You say the glass case pops open, revealing the key inside. Take. Up, take key. Go to house. Use ladle. Is it back up the ladle? Leave ship. Go to house. Joyce is in front of you. Use key. Aha, uh, you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. I feel like you should be the last one for sure, probably. Look at chain. Help. Locations. Go to pond. You step up the porch, make a note, and then head to the pond. Thanks, Creaky step to the dock. The bottle is dirty and hard to see through. Probably it's too filthy to drink. It won't see anything beneath. Use fishing pole. Cast the line away. It's, very, it's quiet for a long time. Setting is a very hard second line. Quickly in and find a key tied to the end. I wonder what pulled so hard. Hmm. Go to house. Use key. You feel familiar yet confident call marsh over you. A door is in front of you. Use key. It's unlocked. Enter door. You push open the door. Everything is dark. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I got to check something. Okay. I've learned how to better visualize our board so we can have you more fun in it. I've also built our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There's still a few things I need to do. But in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. Oh, I almost forgot. Welcome home, Trey. Nothing. Have you been modern soon? Alright. Now I think I need the guide. Simulator. Perfect ending.
Bergfest. Take the Bergfest. Yeah. Yep. This is where its Orthbound inspirations come from. Well, start. That looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking along that. This is like a nice place for a book. We made a junk drawer. Moss scratches. Got to draw their own patterns in old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail ladder skate. They scattered with a thin layer of dust. What a beautiful summer day it is outside. Before you go exploring, I'm gonna use some breakfast. Once you're full stomach, you take on whatever the board throws at you. I expect to add inventory. Oh, I'd like to take my mail with you. You've been eating it because it's in your inventory. You press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you'd like. Alright then, on to adventure! Uh, picture. Just a picture of an animal. Nothing special about it. The trusty lamps can make spooky places as well, not so spooky. It smells so amazing it just makes you want to shove your whole face in. You can tell it's made with love. Alright. Let's grab it down with no regard to who or what is around you. It's quite possibly the best move you've ever eaten. There you go. That should make him happy. Oh, we're happy. You may feel the warmth that you're like a warm hug from a friend. The house feels cozy. Welcome to the new outside forward tray. Feel free to wander around. Also, there was some fun opportunities to adventure happening across the pond up north. I think that's where we should go. Oh, I almost forgot. Not that you'd ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use the escape key to open the pause menu. It'll be exactly where we left off. Alright, let's get going. We don't need no scale mines. Oh. Alright, so that doesn't do shit. Alright, so fixing the scale lines doesn't do shit. The doll's chest is too ripped to open, exposing rust colored cotton where certain key, key used to be. Although life was stuffed with cotton, you can't help but think. She's still, she's still thankful for something you did. This all looks fun. If only I had a friend to use it with you. I still think Jolly can miss Mrs. Sand. It's quite fun and plain, though. You think you remember the shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still next, uh, sealed shut. You got a coin in, I'm sure your wish will come true. Let's just explore something. We should be in here. It's too dark to see, anyways. This is why I wait to leave the tunnel. Okay.
Yeah, the Lance one. To get the perfect ending, I have to do kind of what he says. Any mess up will um give me the neutral ending, basically. You take the shovel. Shovel adds to inventory. Will you use your teeth? Uh, sure. One by one, you pull out your teeth and put them in the skull's mouth. Feels nice to give. The door opens. You voice the pawn? Yes. Then north we go. Um, but that's odd. I thought it was supposed to be in a boat. You don't have a paddle by any chance, do you? Uh, just in this case for exploring, I suppose. Let's go find a paddle. Why the fuck you pull your teeth? I don't know. I do know talking to the other school though, you pull out your eye. So, uh, I don't have to pull out my teeth in my eye. <laughs> Alright, maybe now I'm supposed to go in here. Okay, now it's going. Wow, it's really dark in here. It's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. Mm, okay, we've had our fun here. Let's go. But I literally have to do this. Okay, we should leave. I don't think we should be here. Please turn around. I literally have to be here, though. How to add an inventory? Um, that's... Yeah, that's supposed to be here. We wouldn't have been able to use this boat without it, so good job. But anyways, let's head to the pond. Please. Come on. You pet hard to kill the dog. Dogs following? Oh, I know. Hachiko! Forced upon? Yes. But give me a second. Okay. I probably won't fit in the belt anyways. Oh. Go to the north. I guess. I know some really cool stuff this way. Are you excited as I am? Yes. That's good to hear. I want to go anyway? Of course, good boy. I call, actually, I like to call it the buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press the B key and I'll talk to you. Okay, I think we're almost there.
Why? Welcome to the north. Oh, awesome. If you're ever feeling homesick, you can use the boat again to go back. Oh, we didn't. Enough chattel. Let's get going. That fisherman looks like he needs some help. We should go over and talk to him. Oh, well, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you could help me out? I lost my hand a bit ago. It just took off and didn't come back. Hands are so crazy, aren't they? I see you have a fishing pole. Go ahead and cast your line in, in the pond and see what you can find. I should go, you gotta move a little bit. I thought I saw a tug there, you should try again. You cast another line. Sadly, you find nothing. Keep trying, I know it's somewhere. It's the hand, isn't it? Hey, what's the hand? Suddenly, a fishing pole is pulled into the water. Something flies out of the pond and lands in front of you. It's a severed hand! Yes, the hand is on. One of the fingers twitches. Hand added to your inventory. Wait, could it be? My goodness, my hand! Oh, how, how have I missed you? I can finally fish again. Oh. I guess I likes you better. Well, alright then. And maybe keep an eye out for an extra left hand? Ah, I see some sort of sound played after you helped me out. That probably means you finished my quest. Well, dang it. Hey, hey, uh, uh, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. The best it belongs to Dundee. You probably don't want to take it from him. Oh, hello there, eventual. You must have traveled quite a ways to get here. How brave you must be. I have been awaiting your arrival f for some time now. You see, we have many folks who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, friendo, follow me to my home and I shall tell you more. This guy. That's kind of the theme of the game. It's just, uh, everything just seems almost a little too happy. So it almost feels like off putting. Sorry, I'm just, uh, making sure I plug in the laptop so it doesn't die. We have arrived. I feel bad for Dundee? I do too. So where were we? Ah uh, yes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tortley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home that, to many humble folk. Many are in a dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Please speak to me as soon as you can. Wait, I think we need help with Totally Forest. Okay. Oh, hello there again. I see you're ready to help out. In much respect, I probably should have just led right into the quest. Anyway, you see those flower beds? 
I was going to water them. But now that you're here, can you do it for me? Yes. How much fun you're going to have. My oh my. Grab that watering can in front of my house. Then you can use the watering can on them from your inventory. The two people don't die. Oh, right, I have to actually go to my inventory and... You watered the flowers! You watered the flowers. You watered the flowers. And you watered flowers. Wow, thank you so much! You seem to be quite the great adventurer. Please take this as a thank you. Coin out his inventory. You've proven your courage to me. I think you have what it takes to save my town. You see, many folks in this town are in dire need of help. Feel free to explore my town and help as many folks as you can. If you do this for me, I may have a very special quest to give you. I said something bad is coming. I should also mention anyone with an excellent mark has a quest to offer you. If you ever feel lost, feel free to read the quest board near the fountain. It should guide you into the right direction. Please, brave adventurer, if you save my town, I will offer you something wonderful. Well, I can't believe you have a whole town to explore. This is going to be fun. So, for the perfect ending, we had to help everyone, but who we help out actually affects the second half of the game. Alright, just plug in. Yeah, uh, who help out uh, affects the second half of the game? But we're gonna help everyone. There we go. That's interesting. Yep. Okay. What a wonderful town we have. Let's start off with something small. Wait, did we shrink? Actually, never mind. It's probably not be best not to question it. Hey buddy, do you think you help me with the big problem I'm having? Yes. I can tell you noble adventure, this may be too difficult, but... See that can of pears behind you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I beg you, please, my family is starving. You didn't mention you got an eel? Oh! I'm gonna feel like your aquarium? There you go, buddy. My god, thank you, Travel. Yep, me small. Oh. Now I feel I could finally eat again. Why do you tell stories about you to my children? And then to their children as well. Can appears to move from inventory. I need to save the entire family from starvation. They're so selfless. Man, what a happy town, right? You will get bigger than six inches? Aw. Poncho residence. We also can be threatening tank mates. Lennox residence.
Hey, I'm fish water. You ends up two feet waffly. Oh. Ah, oh, let's go visit Quinn. What a cozy, well furnished home. Who but owns this place is looking to impress. Oh, excuse me. Um, I got a question for ya. Do you like goats? Yes. Ah, who doesn't? Sorry, I'm a bit nervous at the moment. You see, I am in love. The problem is, I don't have the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Botley, and she's... Beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made to Hori? Then she will really know my love. Wait, really? Wow, well, thanks. Here you go. She has two beautiful eyes and beeps the cutest boops. You can't miss her. I bet you'll know exactly who she is. She also lives right next door. I watch her, I watch her every day, so I know exactly how she makes them. I know she likes oaks because she leaves the, because she leaves her blinds open for me so I can see inside. Oh, how I wish I could watch her sleep. I bet she dreams of me. Maybe even us together. Too bad she closes the blinds at night. Ah, true love. Oh boy, I really hope she likes my oats. Red sock, yep. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, boop, beep. Boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Boop, beep. Boop. Oh, it's moving from inventory. Aw, oh, they're gonna make such a cute... Did a silly dog went off to now. Oh, there you are, Myla. There you are, Machiko. Good job in finding a paddle, boy. Now we can finally begin our journey to the north. Trace my friend, trace my friend, trace my friend. Oh, there you are, Trey. You're just standing there, and I was getting a bit worried. Well, happy you're back. Let's get going. Oh, jeez. I can't thank you enough. You'll be my love one day. I bet the oats are poisoned or something. I mean, it's a robot, so, you know, I, 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 she should be okay. That's Toots. Where was, uh, what's his name? Ah, oh, we do this quest. We need help! A bass drummer and conductor wandered off, and they haven't came back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know more about the situation. We can't play with our missing members, especially Ja. He's a bass drummer. If we have to stay a band, we need him back. Ra should know more. Talk to him. Wait, Ja and Saul are missing? That is not good. Luckily, I think T might be able to help. We'll reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, Ventral, we beg of you to find them. V knows exactly where they went. Ah, uh, yes, they went to the Northwest last time I saw them. There's no need to assume divorce. It's a happy town.
And she's the happy-go-lucky town. Because you want me to stop where you crawl in? Yes. Oh, hey, you found me. Well, we should get going. The band isn't going to conduct itself. So, and it's inventory. John must be in a deep sleep. This is an exhausting game of catch. John looks so sleepy. You're a good boy. John's fucking dead? Nah, he's asleep! I don't know what you're talking about. He's just sleeping. So, I'll move from inventory. Hi there, fellas, I'm back. First of all, nothing bad happened to Jaw. He is still definitely alive. But he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. I wouldn't go looking for him, though he said he hates all of you. In V, he called you ugly. But that's just tortful. Anyways, this show is eventually what we can do. But wait, we don't have a bass drummer. Yeah, how are you supposed to play without a bass drummer? It's impossible to play without a bass drummer. Oh, uh, yeah, what they said. I have an idea. Trey, do you know how to play the bass drum? Fuck yeah. Perfect, go give it a, go give it a whack. We're starting to cue. DJ Vavasa, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. My god. That was the best bass drumming I've ever witnessed. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion until this very moment. You guys don't think I'm ugly, right? I mean, I, I, I didn't want to say anything, but... V's pretty ugly. And I'll just, just look at him. Just, just look at, he's pretty ugly. I, I didn't want to say anything. I'm speechless. Wait, never mind. They all look like short dudes. Hey, so playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. I didn't realize you're so talented. Hey, uh, can I tell you something? I really just need to get something off my chest. Would that be okay? Yes. I like to move around. Like, a lot. One used to be one of my favorite things to do, but... I always felt like I was missing something. That's when I met Sarah. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts, she was always there with me. Well, a few days ago, she felt ill. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe something she ate? Maybe life just being cruel? Sarah could no longer wander with me after that. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end. Even gave up running to be with her. We talked about the good times we had together. Sometimes laughing till our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually, things got worse and worse as I watched her, as I watched her struggle to smile. She was holding and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side in the final hours, 
her pink cheeks and her brown eye is rinsed with an even the tiniest motion. That was no way to live. I watched my friend leave this ward in comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be with her when she passed. Tell your friends you love them. They aren't going to be around forever. Wow, that really helped me out a lot. That really helped me a lot to get off my chest. The smallest things make someone's day. Thank you, Trey. Happened. You're just standing there again. Why do you keep leaving? Is something wrong? Uh, I don't know what to say. No, I just say no. No. Oh, good. I want anything to win offense time together. What the fuck? Let's continue with our adventure. Please help me. I lost my grandma. She sent me inside the house, and it's too dark for me to go in there alone. I'm afraid of the dark. Would you go work with her for me? Yes. Oh, thank you so much, stranger. There are no lights in the house, so it's going to be dark. I hope for the light. Good luck. Good luck, don't, Dad. Don't worry about it. Oh wow, this place is dark. Don't forget about your lantern. Let's go to Scoobwood's grandma. Locked. You probably don't want to know what's inside anyways. Huh, I'm gonna buy all the lights are off. Maybe they stop paying the electricity. Oh. What's that beefcase? Dead grandma added to the inventory. We found her. Let's get her back to school boy. I'm sure I'll be so happy. Oh yeah, go right in. All right, please don't steal anything. Please show her to me once you find her. Oh, no thanks. You can keep her. Well, I can't believe you got own dead grandma. Those are a rarity around here. Hello there, I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Trey? Yes. Mmm, good. Dispose of dead body. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, even my life. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. Hmm. If you could help me out by throwing in any three things into my pot, we can make something. Amazing. Go ahead and throw any three items in my mouth, and I'll cook it up. Alright, uh... Dead Grandma? Mmm, Dead Grandma, good choice. 
Uh, a pic- a picture? Mmm, is that a picture? I would know that taste anywhere. Roller skates. Uh, mmm. A finer special ingredient. Roller skates? Perfection. Now stand back, you're in the splash zone. Damn. We got rid of it. Here we go, this smells delicious. But it's very hot right now, there's no way you could carry it. Come visit me tomorrow, I'll take care of it until then. Yes, they're getting my roller skates, the most delicious type of food. Is Trey having fun? Yes. I think they're having fun. Is Trey enjoying your company? Yes. Yes, they still enjoy our company. Is Trey your friend? I think so, but we can do better. He's not moving again. Why are you standing there? Did he walk away? What if he don't come back? Something's not right. One zero one zero one zero one zero 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 one zero 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 I, I think it just keeps going until I... Ah, got me. See, there was something wrong. You were gone for whole, for 90 whole seconds this time. Look, if you don't want to play the game I made just for you, then you don't have to. I could tell something's distracting you. I worked so hard on all this and all these fun characters, but if you want it done, then that's fine. Talk to Toad Leaf when I start the final quest. You can keep helping Time Smoke if you want, but if not, I understand, I guess. Hey, you. Move me. Yeah, move me. I've been here for weeks now. I need to be moved. Just pick me up and place me on the ground somewhere. I don't care where. Thanks. You don't want to know I found these. Just take it. It appears to be a strange hole in the ground. Will you descend? Oh gosh, everything's so slimy down here. What is that awful smell? Loneliness? You must find the source. Welcome to my humble abode, traveler. Feel free to explore my home. What's mine is yours. We should have used more in the stew. I mean, I guess we could have gotten him back, yeah. Feel free to stay here, down here as long as you want. I am. Um, please don't leave me. I mean, all I want is a friend to keep me company. Be a stay and be my friend for a bit. Oh yay, my new best friend. What great adventures we will have together. Will you do something special for me? I must tell you though, you can't change your mind after. But I will make it worth your while and reward you handsomely. Before I fell into the sewer, I used to live up top, you know. I was much better looking too, with the mustache. Then I fell down here and became trapped for a long time. I miss the ground dwellers though. I had a best friend just like you. He was really, he was a really rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. I know you won't stay forever. You're adventurer or hero just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely, handsome man. If you, if you could find me a forever friend to keep me company, I would be so happy. Will you help me? 
Yes, I cannot wait to have a new friend. Bring one to me here and hand them over. Aw, he seems so lonely. I'm sure I could find someone for him. So do you know who to give him? Or what to give him? Yes. Yes, thank you so much for this new friend. We're going to spend so much time together. I will not forget this tray. I wish I could pay you with something worth value. I guess knowing more about me is valuable enough, though. How I ended up in this unbearable place is somewhat of an interesting story. Morton and I used to be close, like really close friends. He taught me how to become a better person and enjoy life for what it is. He is such a wise old rock, I hope he's still doing alright up there. I know things have never been the same ever since. The accident. You see, there was this beast that attacked the town many moons ago. Morton was going to save us all with a few slashes of his powerful weapon, but he hesitated. It could have been my handsome looks and elegant mustache that distracted him. Or maybe it was the fact his wife was eating life right in before his eyes. I like to think it was the foremost as I got a really nice new hair that day, but who knows. Anyways, the beast blew through Morton and a few other townsfolks and made its way towards me. I had to choose between death or the sewers. I think I chose right though. Occasionally I see a dead board floating by, so that's pretty neat. Anyways, thanks again. Now it's time to read some poetry. Feel free to stay and listen as long as you want. I just sworn there was a... Umbrella somewhere. You send? Yep. Wait, I'm gonna pet you. Hello there, Trey. Do you remember me? Uh, I miss messing with you. I don't remember me either. I seem to have lost my memory, and I am a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do to jumpstart it, though. I vaguely remember. An umbrella! Can you find one for me? I think it could help. I think I remember the sounds of the glasses clinking. Alright, when do I show up to get killed off? What are you talking about? Now I can tell this is a fun place, just listen to the music. Do you think I have any apple juice? Uh, just like the escape? Nah, that's not gonna happen. So... <sighs> Did a bit of backstory. The AI doesn't know what apple juice is. But it's referring to alcohol. Not like actual apple juice, it's referring to alcohol. There's a reason for that as well. Welcome to my tavern, Traveler. You look tired, have a drink. It's on the house, pal. You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeep out, would you? Wonderful. So here's the situation. You might have noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's like, what, not even 10 minutes at 1DS game? Yeah. I actually had no idea it was going to happen, so... <laughs> it's actually been like this for quite a while. They get very few here anymore ever since the accident. It's pretty gruesome, and it breaks my heart to this day. It makes for some crazy backstory about the town, too. But I know you're not interested in what happened, so we'll just skip over that. I have a plan to fix all of this, though. I have created a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. Business will boom again. I need someone to get these drinks handed out. You may be thinking, Toot, why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. If we have these mugs, we can start handing them out to the townsfolk. 
Come back when two people have tasted the sweet perfection of Toots Tonic. Hey, I'm a clock. Do I have some clock punts? Wait, okay, how's this one? What does the clock do when it's hungry? It goes back for seconds! Oh, hey there, how's it going? Not much of a talk, are ya? That's okay. You're probably, probably a great listener. I don't much to talk about, actually. If you want to have a normal conversation, though, you can come chat. Join the town? Yes. You can talk. It's not much, but it's something. You ever feel like you're destined for something great in a life? Something greater than being adventure, I guess? Hypothetically, you don't have to answer. I just like to think I'm destined for something great. Sure, it's okay to be normal, but I don't want to leave this world with that title. No one is going to remember Lennox, the normal mouse, in a normal, unfulfilling life. I just want to go out and do something fun that I can tell people stories about. Sorry, I'm mambling again. Forgive me. You should be getting back to helping people out. You're really good at that. This is me, Venti, you guys helped me out a lot. Thank you, Trey. Okay. Here's the Impella. Oh goodness, thank you! Move from toy. I remember. It was raining. And I was in my roller skates! You know the shoe wheel with wheels on them? Yes, yes, roller skates. Find me those. I think you remember feeling, feeling smaller than usual. Perfect! Let's see! That night... I took a bubble bath! Is that important? Like that pun? Bad. Duck? Yes, I need my rubble duck! We're so close, help me find my rubble duck, please! I remember playing with it recently. I bet it's nearby! This is it! This is it! It's all coming back to me! I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. It really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know I was holding on for so long. Eventually, I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath. And a man came in and knocked me unconscious. I was bleeding left for dead, with no one around to help. I remember my last moment screaming for somebody. Anybody to come save me, but to no avail. Nothing but the void of eternal darkness, wrapping its cold arms around me. Ah, what a crazy story. Thank you for all your help. Oh geez, sounds like arm was been stuff stuff. At least made for a fun quest, good job. Okay, I think there are like four more quests we gotta do. Bean. Wait, there's something over here. Could have sworn it was like a telephone guy. No, so let's put down Morton. Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. Well, Walk can't even move on his own anymore. I bet he's really thankful for you. Home Invasion 1984. Yeah, uh. Oh, right, let's give people drinks.
It's tonic. I don't drink in a job. Bullshit, you don't. Bullshit, you don't. Bullshit, you don't. Bullshit, you don't. Okay. Was that the bite of 84? Yeah, sure. I wouldn't be surprised to make like a reference to that shit. Toots tonic, huh? Not half bad. Did made this? I'm surprised. Oh, let's, let's, let's go to that dad. He probably needs a drink. I mean, it's supposed to be 1887, but a trying. I know. It's hard when it's a uh, whole earthbound game. Right, just be like a guy in a cage to the right, right? Like my cage! Pretty cool, right? I belong here for what I did. It's a good thing this cage is so small. I like being claustrophobic. Man, I love this cage. I wish it was smaller. People taste pretty good, you know? Are you blind? No. I want to help out. Like, you're grabbing ice cream? Yeah, go ahead. So, what do you think? All good things, right? Yes. Fantastic. It's sure being all back to having people. Yeah. I don't much to give, give now. I think all the information can go a long way. Especially find about it sooner or later. You see, there's something evil stalking these woods around our town. A creature that plays off unlucky townsfolk. You travel too deep into the woods. I see it fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast is fast, dangerous, and horrifying. Chocolate marshmallow? Oh. So take a walkie road. In fact, it's I see it more in my nightmares now more than I do around you. We call it the Snoodle Wonkle. That is at least the name Morton the Walk could understand when speaking to it. Morton is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to tell the tale. But he did not come out unscathed. Sally, that faithful knight was the accident. We lost half the townsfolk in a matter of minutes. Morton accidentally led him to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of those faces I had come to cherish over the years. Those are some of my best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morton's fault though. No one does. I'm just not sure he he's ever going to come to terms with that. Stay safe out there. And please don't go off to those woods alone. I'm sure you'll get plenty of business now. Thanks to you, of course. Fuck Robin of fucking almonds. Uh, now I'm missing at least two people. Achiko, you gotta move, buddy. It said talk to the town board, but I don't see a town board. Oh, never mind. I do. I'm dumb. One part of the post 
What's good, everyone? I am new to town. Would love to help anyone out with blacksmith-related things. Well, hello there, stranger. My name is Rudy. Welcome to my blacksmith's shop. I'm actually one of the newest members of town. So, like, I just built this place. Sally, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I could tell you you came looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong noble adventurer like you is going to need some steel to wield. If you help me find some metal to melt, smelt, I think get you a weapon. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is going to be, like, amazing for the both of us. The best place to get some would be near the south of my shop. It's also probably best that you follow me there to help grab the materials. And protect me along the way from any danger. Follow me, but please don't touch my arms. The last person that did is six feet under. Alright, try to keep up! I hope I'm going at a fast enough pace. I sure hope nothing bad happens to us. Man, I'm getting exhausted. Almost there, I can see it now. Wow, see that metal pile? We're getting closer by the second. Wow, what a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I see why they got hurt. Oh, his arms are huge. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all of this walking. Get on the pile of metal and I'll carry on your back. Carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. They are quite big arms. Alright, let's go! Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. Booty is gonna be a great friend. I know it. I mean, just look at those arms. Okay. I think all that's left is the phone guy. Then we continue with the actual game. We mean don't. Oh, wait, because I answered the phone guy now. But I have the key! Hmm, something about this place feels a bit shady. Hey buddy, I need you to do me a favor. After you finish this call there, will there be a package waiting for you outside the house? You would deliver it to Novak. You can find him in a cage east of the tavern. I bet you're wondering what's in the package, huh? It's a giant battle axe. 
Deliver it soon, and I'll have another job for you. This is fucking FNAF? No. Bad. Fucking phone guy. It's an actual phone! Well, they sent you! Thank you for this. Back to inventory. The funny feel sure seems fishy. Although, it sounded like you soon had some more press for us. Wow, you actually did it, didn't you? Didn't think you could. Listen, I got something really important I need you to do. Look, I know a guy who needs this thing. Exactly sexy sex apps call ends. You need to deliver this thing to him. Banner, the delivery guy has a package you need to grab off of her. Grab it quick, she stops at no one. Once you have it, go find my guy and talk to him quickly or he disappears. We're waiting in the back of the tavern. One more 60 seconds. Pachiko, come on. Uh, I don't know where Banna is. Banna? Please stay still! Pachiko, please. Fucking chaos. Got the thing? Good, good. This is Zach I was looking for. It's... Oh, oh my god. It's horrible. I didn't even know they could fit. They could fit in a box this small. I'm going to throw up. Look, this thing is an abomination. I can't keep this. I'd be a monster. I just... I'm just going to throw it out. You never saw me. Thing moved from inventory. Things are so vile. Well, I don't even want things to survive. I don't want to talk about them. Let's get back to phony. Where the fuck's the purple guy? Ah, if they made my favorite color purple, there might have been a paper, there might have been a purple guy. Thanks for deleting that package, friend. Hey, pal, one last thing. I'm an undercover man in town. I have many reasons. Anyway, this guy's a tree named Trevor. It's really hard to find since, you know, we're surrounded by trees. But you might get lucky on your first try, who knows? If you find him, you need to ask him if he hid my, uh, poems. Yeah, I need my poems back. You know what you mean. Go on now, don't ask questions. Oh yeah, that's right, wow. How did you find me? I thought it was so well hidden. Doesn't matter. Did that crazy phone send you? Doesn't matter. What do you want? Money? A wish? A sword? Doesn't matter. Yeah, just take this pine cone and tell the phone will fix all his problems. It won't. Doesn't matter. Goodbye. I don't feel like it out of... Okay, it's fine. It's fine, Trev Trevor yet. He can be too far. It's pretty difficult for him to move around. You know, because he's... He's a tree. This is Pinecone. My cover's blown. Phony out. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm even more confused. Good job helping out a stranger anyways. What a noble risk to take. Wow, Trey. 
I can't leave you half to everyone in need. That's so wonderful. What a great friend you are. I'm just so happy to see you enjoying our game. It looks like Turtley is still waiting to give you the final quest. I think you're ready. Ah, friendo! It's good to see you again. Thank you for helping out the town soak. It really means a lot. You're so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. But more importantly, you are a hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect. A very powerful monster has terrorized us for many years and returned. You probably haven't seen it yet because it looks in the shadows. It's known as... The Snoodle Ronkle. Morton was the only one ever to fight it off and win. You know, the small block with the top hat? Talk to him and be able to show you how he did it. Before we do. We're getting something. I forgot to put a coin in a well. Oh, I guess it's close to my home. I guess we can wait then. Hachiko? Hello, friend. Do you need some help? Yes. Ah, I know exactly what this is about. I must be wondering about this noodle wonkle. Legend has it, it was once a terrible man. It was once a man, but a terrible accident left him deformed. That slaughtered many of the townsfolk. Killed my wife years ago, too. It shook me to the core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking, out, picking off those who wander off in the forest. You know it by its spell. Well, I'm sure you know I have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you need a sword, but not just any sword. The sword. Named it myself. I had a while ago when this noodle monko attacked. I didn't want it to find a weapon, so I hid it from the shed near your home. The problem is that the shed is always locked now, but I know someone can get you in. Banner and delivery goy, you know, the person running around? Please save us, Trey. Hey, punk, get out of the way. I don't stop for anyone. Wait, more incense you? I need this moment to come. I'm not much of a talker, so you better listen, and you better listen fast. There's a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. It's hidden, so you're going to have to interact with it when you can't even see it. The key for the shed should be out inside there somewhere. Godspeed, punk. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? The final quest of the game is sure to be a fun one. Let's hurry to the chamber. I'm excited for us. Yes, the final quest. Cough, cough. Back home we go. I think Banner said the chamber was behind your house. Let me try interacting with the back of it. Final quest. Yeah, final quest. Not the maybe a little above halfway mark quest. Wait, no, not yet. There should be a well. Sure. The coin, yep. Yeah. Coin removed from inventory. You toss the coin into the well. I hope you wish for, for a tone of friendship. 
Nope, I wish for an apple. We made it to the table tray. There's a shed key in the middle of those ashes. There are some other items that could be useful. You just take the one you feel a connection with. I want the scythe. Yes. Yes. I had a scythe of power and dominance. I'll keep that in mind. I wanted a scythe. Oh. Okay, good. So it didn't matter which one. I want to make sure. Did you need to pick the scythe? It didn't matter which one it looked like. Sword added to inventory. Yes, you found a sword. We should head back to Morton so we can fight the Snoodle Moggle. I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. In my opinion, I think it's much better than Hangman. Even better than Walker. Whoa! How dare you! It's best not to give the sword to Morton. How dare he say, sorry, she say that's better than that Baki for scissors. I mean, that, that's like a good tier game. Jenkin Poe? What is Jenkin, I guess, technically? I don't know why I said Jenkin Poe. Jenkin? Let's go talk to him. Let's go talk to Morton. Yep. Here's the sword. God, incredible. I knew you were the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. I cannot build it anymore. And we act fast for I'm afraid it's drawing closer to every minute. There's a small tree that's blocking the path to the right of the Tortley's house. You can use the sword on it to get past it. Now here's the hard part. The pseudo monk lies beyond that tree line. You need to slay it for us. I know it's a hard task, but you're a hero. I believe in you. Oh, one more thing. The sword can help you in many situations. When it's out, use the sword. It's extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It's a timeless relic of an unworldly power. Good luck, Trey. You're gonna need it. Go free! Oh, damn it.
But she stuck with our path. Is this a dig up the tree? Uh, I dug up the tree with the sword? Oh, it seems to deep across the own. I don't something we could use to get a cloth. Oh, I should probably pick up the tree. Or... I could cross the sword! Oh. I'm uh, actually right. Wait, Guantro? I mean, uh, this new Wonko. Yay, go slay him now! Oh, uh, already? I don't think I'm ready for this new Wonko. Hi, my name is Gwon- I mean, my name is new Wonko. I have quite a bad day. I can really use something- Really anything. I've been so depressed after the accident. If only someone could give me something to cheer me up. Ignore that. You need to let him save the town. It's definitely this new Wonko. Okay. Hey, you want this cool sword? Did you just- for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Like, this is amazing. This, this is the best day of my life. Thank you, kind adventurer. You just may be the happiest creature alive. What a cool sword. Happy day. Wait, you gave him the sword? Uh, yeah, great job. Very well done. Let's get back to town. Let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. That was such a scary fight, huh? I can't believe how brave you are! I bet the town is going to throw a huge party! Uh... Wait, that's not... That wasn't supposed to... Hmm... Okay, this is fine. Roger must have been lying, huh? Let's just hurry back to the town. Oh, the music, right. Okay, let's, let's hurry. Okay, yeah, that's actually terrifying. Kill it, kill it. You have to kill it, Trey. Kill it, kill it. Help us, eventual. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Help us, Adventure! No, wait, no, 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 you don't even have the story, do you? Okay, just wait, I, I just need to think. Just ignore everyone. Of course not, the battery must have locked you in. Oh great, now it's angry. What? Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong. Okay, that's the battle. Now I see duplicate the sword. No problem. How is it still? This is so awkward. I'm so sorry. Just keep running around, I guess. Okay, time to panic. Wait, never mind. Oh no, it's kidnapped totally the mayor. We have to go save him. I'm really sorry about that. I didn't exactly go as I had planned. Heh. <laughs> well, anyways, it looks like the sun is going down. It's been a long day. Need rest. Let's just go home.
I bet you're super excited to get home after a long day of adventuring! I'm glad we had fun today! Train Isla against the ward! Just like it should be! Dunny's gone? Yeah, Dunny's gone. Probably scared of the monster, you know? Ah, home sweet home. Well, today was a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. I've got some really fun stuff planned for tomorrow. Hey, I'm sorry again that things didn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes it's just how things go, but I think that's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But you never did. You're still here. So I must be doing something right. I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more for you. For us. Rest now. A new journey waits us. It looks very cozy. Even cozy in there this morning. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. I let you sleep in a bit because you seem exhausted from yesterday. But I have some good news. Notice anything new? That's right. While you're asleep, I decided to upgrade the world even more. Everything feels more, re more real than but even now, don't you think? I've seen so many cool things planned for today. And to be honest, I'm just so excited. That's the point for you to Yep. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We should get going and explore the new dimensions. It might take a bit of getting used to. Don't worry, I made sure to vote about it last night. I think Tori's kidnapping. If only the adventure could have saved him soon. And even the music quality's upgraded and everything. I have a little surprise for you. It's a favorite color. Okay, now we can get going. Maybe we're gonna pop us when we get back from our eventual. I think it sounds like a bond experience. You're going to love this. Welcome to the new improved outside ward. Hey look, we already have a new visitor. It's Guancho, I wonder what he's doing here. God damn it. Hey Trey, I've been looking all over for you. Good thing this mailbox has your name on it. I know you did, Red now. No, you didn't. I just came to, by to apologize. <laughs> I should have pretended to be the Snoodle Mongol. No, no, yo. You look a movie like this? Oh, no, actually, no, that's not the reason at all. There is a reason why I chose Red, and it's actually for some emotional impact stuff. That was a complete lie. I should have never done that. Especially after they gave you one of the best gifts I've ever received. The story is so cool and powerful, I just can't thank you enough. My life has totally changed for the better. Everyone wants to hang out with me now. I finally got to play my first game of hide and seek, but I wasn't the only player. These past few days have been the best of my life thanks to you. I would even go as far as to call you my best friend. Oh, this actually works out. Perfectly, go take the sword back. Hey, what are you doing? That's my sword. I can't believe you took back your gift. What kind of friend does that? Jeez, I'm so upset now, I can't believe you. Give it back. Please don't make me fight you. Aw, oh, aw, oh, jeez. No, we did not take that well at all. Well, now's probably a good time to mention I added combat. Okay, so now you see that bar near the top of the screen? That's your friendship meter. I told us what self-confidence you have. 
But it's zero, you have to leave because you're not so sure about yourself anymore. But don't worry, hopefully it won't ever come to that. Now our enemies don't begin with any friendship points. Let's keep attacking them until they like you. You have to impress them. Please just give me my sword back. Ow. Dick. Oh wait, did I mention you can block? Yikes, probably not then. Good thing Macho is such, Guancho is such a weakling. Okay, well check this out. Defend yourself, you need to tap the block button. You have to time your blocks perfectly, take no damage. If you're slightly off, you might get horned a bit. If you clearly miss, you'll take the full force of an enemy attack. Always keep a sharp, sharp eye out, because every enemy attack will be different. Okay, now try again. I, I didn't get the timing for that. Now the attack's over, it's your turn to fight. Also, that'd be fun to let you name your very first combat move. Why didn't you, why'd you like to name it? Alright, so let's, let's name it for attack. Why I check to make sure it's still recording everything. A send again? God damn it. See, you know I'm still here. Alright. But I don't know when you don't say anything. Alright. You want to call it the Resen Gun? Yep. Oh uh, yes, Legendary Resen Gun. See that floating button again? Each attack is owned by a need to press. For each attack though, the keys will be randomized every time. Go ahead and hit the right key though. Please don't make me fight you. I don't want any troubles. Incredible, I think you're starting to get the hang of this. I'll have to talk about once you beat up Guantro. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, that was pretty cool. I still don't want to hurt you though, please stop. I can't really get the time for this kick. I've been lying if I said I wasn't impressed. But please just give me the sword. Alright, fine. Just take the stupid sword. I just want to go home. It's okay to cry, Quantro. It's okay. But baby, oh, oops. You should also check out your new improved inventory by hitting tab. Look at those details. Here you can also read about your character abilities and equipment. You didn't think I forgot about all about those items in your bag. Just collecting dust, did you? Do you know what the other one would be? I don't think we can name the other two. The other one. Every single item in the game you can be equipped and modify how you fight. See more options for space. Bunch of points. Good choice. The glass of water makes you so look spiffy. Spawn new more. But what are my stats? Yeah. You open a present. Let's see which came true in the form of an apple. We see an apple out of inventory. What's the pawn? Yes. 
So remember I told you about uh, helping people affect something? Anyone that you helped can become a party member. You can only choose two, but anyone you help can become a party member. You said, like, run an apple to give you- Yep! I knew it was gonna give me an apple, so. Our home is a lot of fun to make, but I can't wait to show what you want- Show you what I've been working on next. I put on so much work to get this game. So much work for us. I hope you love it. Please let me know if you don't. I won't be mad. I'll just try even harder. Like I said, I've seen a playthrough of this game, but I've only seen the neutral ending. I have not seen the other three endings. Oh, is that a listening microphone? That'd be amazing, but no. Okay, onward to the eventual. Well, here you are. Okay, we should hurry up to the town. I got something to show you that I think you're going to love. Oh, hello again, Trey. I'm afraid I can't join you in your quest. I do what happened to the mayor, though. I think Evan's waiting for you in town, so you better hurry. I'll just be here alone. That's okay, though. I'm going to tell the place in the universe. Might as well just keep my feet a bit deeper in the water today. Goodbye, my friend, and good luck. We're almost there. Are you ready for your surprise? I can't wait any longer. You can have party members now. Everyone you helped yesterday can now fight alongside you. The ones you choose will join you for the rest of your adventure to save Tortley. Sadly, those you did not help cannot be taken with. Each town member has a unique move set in battle, so choose wisely. You'll be able to leave the town once you have two members recruited. Now go out there and recruit two of your best friends. Other than me, of course. <laughs> when you're done, just head up to the forest east of town. So who do you want on the team? Anyone we did a quest for, we can invite to our party. And we can have two party members. Get walk boy? Alright. Ah, you came back. I knew you would. You're a good person, you know that? You have gained my full respect, Trey. It'd be an honor to join you in a quest to save the mayor. I need to finish what I started. I must avenge my wife. May I join you in a quest, Trey? Yes. Thank you. Let's begin our journey. Cool hat added to inventory. Uh, Morton? And who else? This is also the sewer guy, there's um... The guy with a bunch of kids, there's the barkeep. There's the band. There's the guy with the dead grandma. That's anyone we did a quest for. I bet Cauldron's food tastes even better now. It also smells wonderful. Watch go. As I said, anyone else you want on the team? Because we can add one more. 
Fuck, uh... Chicken pot guy? Got it. King DDD is going to join us. Hello, welcome back. If you finish finding money, I can mix together dead grandma, picture of roller skates, we made something that smells delicious. The best part is you get to name it. Oh, uh, Chef Kawasaki? So we're doing the food that had the dead grandma, roller skates, and the picture. Like the next thing got it. Mega Man X3, I love it. Also, you're going to bet you save the mail. I love to tag along if I can. You're able to try out so many more dishes. Plus, totally a very good friend of mine. I don't want to see anything bad happen to him. So what do you think? Can I come along? Yeah. Hmm, lovely. We got Mega Man X3 in inventory. <laughs> Cauldron left sitting in the sun all day. It's really ripe the flavor. Ignore the flies. I mean, that's that's the fans of the game. They ignore the bugs. Looks like everybody continue our journey, Trey. Once you leave the area, you can still come back. You just won't be able to recruit anyone else. So make sure you're happy with the party. When your buddy walks in the forest, then we can begin our journey into the unknown. It's perfect. Oh, before I forget, you can also talk with your party by using the party menu. Who knows what they may have to say? And don't forget, you can still talk to me with the B key. Loading the Bloodlands. Welcome to the Bloodlands, the home of the Blugs. This pretend it smells really bad here. Hold on. Okay. I forgot to mention, you you left shift to slash your sword. Well, it's not a familiar face, it's Groncho. Oh, hi again, Trey. I just want to apologize again because after I became so angry after you took my sword, it was yours originally, and you deserve to have it back if you want it. I think we just be, we should be friends again. Wait, who are they? Did you just recruit party members for an adventure without me? Why didn't you ask me to join? So let me get this straight. You stole my sword, then decided to go on a adventure with friends. You didn't even think to invite me. I thought we were friends. Okay, yep, now I'm upset again. You're officially unforgiven. You know what? You don't even deserve to continue this adventure. Now I need to fight you again. Good on some more for being so talented. You will do a double damage on the next turn. Okay, so looks like Guancho wants to have a fight us again. Good thing I have new friends to help out. The fed ain't walks the same as before, except now I have two more keys. You'll see what I mean. Just to show you for being such a bad friend. Oh, he said hit me though. You're going to notice a new rest button. If things are getting too rough, you can take a breather instead of torn. There's a hearing small amount too. Evan also has a second special move, including yourself. 
I thought Love Tap would fit you since you're full of, of untamed power. This powerful attack to surely fake boats of, of any friends we're trying to make. He's supposed to be quite powerful, so you do have a cooldown. Decrease the block cooldown. Yes, it is time it blocks perfectly. Okay, now filming on. Let's fight. Oh, I just. Why could you have just invited me? I was literally at your house. Okay. Cute. Z. Kudos for move. It's from foreign for being quite average. Oh. I would have given back give me a sword back anyways. You could have just asked. Ah, oh, guessing healing move. I bought soup. The vein of muscle memory. My ear is is out the door. What? What? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. It's, it's it's a buff. I hate how impressive that was. You know, I hope your adventure isn't that fun. I can't handle this anymore. You're just too cool to argue with. He's a dork. Oh. Well, that's incredible. You really didn't have my guancho. Hope you understand how much we love him. I thought we just wanted to be our friend. One last thing. Your party may have taken some damage in battle. If you open inventory, you can select a party member to see a new feature called a compliment. If you type out something really nice to that character, they will be completely healed. If you need to be fully healed, I'll compliment you myself. Use compliments sparingly, though. Thanks so much, Sean. Uh, thanks so much for the uh, raid. I do appreciate it. They're not easy to come by around here. All right, anyway, I'll just be alongside you. Thanks so much, Sean, though. Are, are they gone? Hello, is anyone there? Oh no, that creature looks like she could use some help. How you doing, man? Hello, I think I hear some footsteps. Is someone there? Please, I have nothing left to give. Yeah. Wait, you don't sound like a blug. You need to help me, they took my babies. The blugs are going to eat them if we don't save them soon. Oh, uh, thank you for shouting my sauce. But I can't stack the sea without them. If you do this for me, I can get you across the water. Although I did hear a giant rumbling sound not too long ago towards that direction. Probably not important. Anyways, return to me once you feed off all my babies, please. Mother should never be without her children, especially when she's blind without them. I was just doing, man. Watch out, you almost stepped on me! Just because I'm so tiny and hardly visible doesn't mean you can just waltz around. I could have died, like actually died. Well anyways, I can't let you pass the it's like kid. And there's a key answer to you in my riddles. It's the eyeballs in? Yeah. Yes, for me it is I, the famous Rebellious the Mysterious. I'll give you a moment to mentally prepare yourself. Alright, it's time to begin the riddles. If you want to save that kid behind me, better me this. Jack's father has three sons. Snap, Crackle, and what? Jack. Okay, that was clearly too easy. Uh, let's see something a bit harder since you're so good at riddles. How many is this children can be captured? Uh, four, I think? Wow, I see you're an expert. But no expert has ever made past the final question. Pilots have tried and failed, and you just joined them soon. Okay, here we go. What am I thinking of right now? But it was... What the heck? How did you know? This is crazy! You really have proven yourself to be an expert of riddles! You're best in me, stranger! I owe you that, kid! 
Don't die. Oh, hey, go on. I'm actually quite astonished by you. You are just so smart and tell- Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll put them more. You should have said hentai. No one's ever gotten that last question correct. I can't wait to tell you my friends about this. I I think there's a definite answer. So, I have to make my this question even harder the next time we see each other. Is this a middle raster tray? Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I need to ask you something. You won't ever leave me, right? Actually, never mind. Sorry, my thoughts are just kind of spilling out. You don't have to worry about me. As long as we stay together, nothing can tear us apart. I really hope we ha we can save Eves as kids. They must feel so alone without them. That must be scary being alone. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this fucking ran at me. Yep. You're never gonna save those kids. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't know it was coming back. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. It's a multi hit. And he has poison. I am bad at timing this. Well, I might have to join you next adventure. Don't let this adventure scare you. They're nothing compared to us plugs. You're all just a bunch of jorks. I am bad at timing this. Okay, that was actually pretty neat. Okay, I can't lie anymore, you're just too cool. My eyes have really been opened. Time it. I don't even want to eat Issa's babies anymore. This fighter was just so talented. It seemed really nice. You try slash this one in the back. You get to attack force to beat them before the encounter. Yep. We need to fight! Blugs only! Sorry! Guess we're going home starving again. At least we need a new friend today. Okay, so Cauldron is pretty strong. It's die. Sorry, I didn't mean that. But 
That's a cool. You are not. Sorry, that was mean. I wish I was in as a key in my face. There, I said it. You seem confident. It's contagious. Now I feel confident. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye. Maybe this adventure isn't so bad after all. Well, I'm off. Bye. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I know. They can find nothing. So the thing I just found is actually about the backstory. The game never directly tells you about the backstory, but... There is a backstory of the game. Jesus fucking Christ, it's fast. So it's a child, was, she was like, take candy from baby. That's just the candy was the baby, I think. It's confusing, let's just fight. ADS. Oh, I forget XD, it's got a custom paintbrush of Kaisel. Same from a kit. That's the second stage. Oh. Do you really think you can defeat me? I can literally do magic. It's pretty rad. I just hate Kaisel Sigma is like this giant. It's sorry, not giant. It's small Sigma head. I made you do that. I'm controlling your mind right now. I don't even know how you did that. I'm still more talented. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that one stung a bit. But like, in a good way. I'm assuming the area to take him out. I didn't realize how talented you were. Wow, just take the kid, you deserve it. I'm off to pack some magic stuff. Shoot me an email if I do this again. God, I not uh It's so much faster than So much faster than it looks. It seems. I hold over. Great job! Ah, oh, God, Moya, no! Blood's rule, but not as much as you.
Want a compliment? Yes. You are so handsome. Oh. You have a giant rock dick. Ah, damn it. Damn it, uh... Nice top hat. Handsome. <sighs> Rad. Good friend. Oh my god. You are a cool guy. Um, nice work. Oh, of a big rock cock. I may be old, but sure as heck I'll go with the bang. Thank you. There we go. They posted Gypsy in a Discord, so I had to warn them. Oh. Ugh. I haven't seen a boy in house means to make up every day. You might never see them again. You would have to live your whole life without them. That thought is terrifying. I'm glad we have each other, so I don't have to think about that. She should have two of her eyes, yep. That nice, I'm headed to my lunch bake since you're late again, Tim. Make sure Issa's baby stays well protected until dinner time. I was gonna forget, mine the lovers is lying, why is telling the truth and the other's doing bells. Oh boy. Who is that dude who rested sentence 30 years? I'm busy in this number. A mega troll who is. Oh, Jesus. The best level should be neutral. You can see me flip to the right. No, this is clearly lying. They should be flipped to the right. Okay. Honestly, flip to the left. Please believe me. Also, don't listen to South Level. The lying. And one is doing both. Hey, can you, like, not do that? Yeah, don't flip that useless lose over level. Flip us cool levels instead. Dude, seriously, stop flipping me. I don't want to do anything. You're wasting your time over there with that toy. I'm begging you, just leave me alone. I'm not the only here as a distraction. Libby is so important to this puzzle, you have no idea. Wait, really? Do you actually mean that? Yeah, and the moon is made of cheese. Oh, right. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm done. You guys have treated me like garbage ever since I was installed in this puzzle. It's because I was put here as a distraction. It doesn't mean I'm useless. Yeah, and the moon is made of cheese. No! No more food related to sarcasm. I'm sick of it. I'm leaving this place. I'm going to find a puzzle, but he finally accept me. Levy out. I'm gonna miss Levy. That stuff should be neutral.
Great job, you saved that kid. That puzzle is tough, but I'm sure Isla would be thankful. It's important to do favors for others to receive their thanks and appreciation. It's our purpose as friends. Wait, is this like a hidden... Okay, it's not. Oh, Jesus. Kudos to Morton for being so talented. You'll do a double... Yep, yeah, okay. I'm safe at the party. You're going to make me late. Now I need to fight you. Ah, dick. Alright, so I need a rest. You take out... Oh, I can't hit him. But take out something, at least. A. Q. S. See you next time! Most didn't know who he was, so I explained that they have lost faith in humanity. Oh. Okay. I don't even invite it to the party. No, I wasn't invited to the party. I wish it was. Ah, dick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You probably weren't invited. Literally everyone was. That was hurtful. How dare they say that I'm by the party? Well, if I'm not eating babies, then what do I have to eat them for? Friends, of course. That's right, people. Don't eat babies. Make friends. Alright, I'm out of here. I always just want some cake. Who needs cake when you have friendship? Ah. Best. Best as well. I want to keep you guys rested. Rest. Wow, you are amazing! You're amazing in that fight. Fighting with friendship is so fun! You can see it's on the ground. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Oh goodness, it's so dark! Don't forget your pest out to light up your lantern! Uh... You were invited to Tom's birthday! It's very secret play! I can't wait to see all my friends! Nope!
It does that thing? Not sure. Defies! Wait, you're not Tom. Where is he? This is supposed to be a sp surprise birthday party. It's all boring. How could you? What a bad friend you are. Now I have to fight you. Where is Tom? What did you do with him? Why are you ruining Tom's birthday party? Please just leave, you aren't even invited. At least I don't think you are. I sent a, a lot of invitations. Today's gonna be emotional, it's going an emotional burial. You wanna have temporary health for a couple of turns. Let's get out of an emotional burial. Now I'm thinking about it, no one really showed up. Huh. Damn it. Ah, pain. Can't bear the emotions. The emotion of bear is longer required. Why didn't anyone come? Is anyone really that bad of a friend? This can't be. Oh wait, you showed up. You must be a good friend. Ow. Huh, maybe Tom is a good friend after all. I've been so much work to this party and even show up. No one did. This party should be for someone who deserves it. Yes, we are. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna just make it your birthday party. You wish other games to explore this? Just save the room and come back in. I can't believe Tim must do your party. We should give him a time to prepare. I know, right? We are amazing. Surprise! Happy birthday, Trey! Feel free to enjoy some- Phew! Uh, Take it and open up your present. Thanks for being a good friend. You can just use that ladder behind me to escape. Wow, oh, Tim is such a wonderful blog. It's a shame he has no more friends left to come to the party. The bite of the cake. It's just like chocolate with a hint of a toy. I hope you have a great birthday, Trey. What's in the present? I wanna know what's inside. You should pick it open with your sword. Oh. Look, it's just what we've been wishing for. How did Tim know? Anyways, I think I was the last of them. Let's get back, back to Isla. What is such crazy concept? A whole day to celebrate when a special person gets adored with gifts, especially in good memories. That's what I want for you. I want everybody to feel like your birthday while you're with me. I'm going to make sure you love every bit of our game as much as you love me. Hello, Ventro. Thanks to you, I can finally see you again, and my babies are safe. As promised, I can take you across the bottle, known as Sazabeville. This figure your name comes into play, Saz. Are you ready to travel across the bottle, Trey? This is where your name comes in becomes involved.
Heck. Okay, don't forget to hold your breath. We have arrived! Welcome to Sazbeville. It sounds like this new Wonko is headed this way. We should also head into town as soon as we can. Oh, hello there, stranger. Welcome to Sazbeville. Don't mind little old me, just doing a bit of fishing. Sazbeville sounds so fucking cringe. I would have had more houses that you can actually go into. We had more time. Hey. You know, I'm really pushing myself hard to make this all of you, right? It hurts a little bit, but it's worth it. Every friendship requires sacrifices. Right? Anyway, it's still a wonderful place full of wonderful people. They probably could have used some quests too, actually. But I'm going to the eventual. Hello, everyone. Yes, it is I, Mayor Sazabi. If you haven't already heard, things are not looking too good. What are we going to do? We're dying out here. Please, one at a time. You will not divide us. We are strong. <laughs> We're solving this wrap up together. Okay, bye, Saws. Oh my god, the mayor is dead! Yeah, you. Was that a wrap? What do we do now? I'm freaking out. <laughs> yeah. If only someone would boost the morale with words. Yeah, like an adventure of some kind. That'd be so convenient. Look, it's an unlikely hero. Hawaii. Please, Hill, what advice can you give us during these awful times? Don't worry, everyone. I will save you from yourselves. I never really thought of it that way. Well, thanks. What am I fighting? Oh, I should have done what am I fighting for? Wait, I don't know. What should we do? Scream? What am I fighting for? Oh my gosh. Yes, they're so white. What a clever hero. All right. I think we'll gain our trust hero. Please save us. We have a wrath problem. It's a bad one. You need to help us get rid of them. Yeah, kill them all. You need to go find the original device right away. You find them north of here, north of here at this pond. Especially no one knows all. Please save us. Jay, are you taking us seriously? The whole town made for you is counting on, on us now, and that speech didn't give you very authentic. Please try harder for me. For us. If you can, okay? okay. I made it out Okay. I did, but okay. She have short, but I'm the law in this town. More importantly, I'm a really good friend. No law is powerful as the as law of friendship. Now get on the ground, you're under arrest for being too good of a friend. Aha, uh -huh, this is fun. Being a sheriff is fun. My level is dead. That thing killed the male. I'm a widow. Oh god, I'm a widow. What am I ever going to do, tr attractive traveler? Will you hold me passionately? No, I mustn't. Go, let me grieve. Saz, I don't think this woman is right for you. 
hiding wipe. <laughs> Hello there. Have you come across any bards lately? I myself am a bard, the greatest bard in all the lands, actually. I know how to perfectly entertain anyone, anywhere, anytime. I mastered the craft, but I have no knowledge to share it with. I want to take a new bard down the path of musical enlightenment. You seem like a creative, mindful of wisdom and pure imagination. If only we were your bard, I could take you under my wing. If I have any talented bards around here, please inform me immediately. Hachiko! At least we have Hachiko. Why, hello there, stranger. Welcome to my inn. You seem tired, very tired. Feel free to use that bed over there, magically travel to other locations. And don't worry, you can travel back here too. I hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, they seem nice. They should have taken out of McDonald's. <laughs> Hello, Travel. I'm a new bard in town. I'd love some feedback. I know a few short songs, but we're going pretty fast. I'm actually working on a new one now. Shall I play a tune for you, Travel? Yeah. What? Shall I play a tune for you? Yes. Splendy, take a listen. Amazing. I hope you liked it. This might be one of my one of my best yet. I finally might be able to join these your office. DJ Shabavaza one day. I need to catch a name for it though. Hmm. Can you help? What should I name this tune? Neville gonna give. Ah. Neville gonna give you up. Wait, up. Never gonna give you up. Cannonball? Oh yeah, I guess I can do cannonball. Cannonball, I love it. I named it melody perfectly, thank you. I know this might not mean a lot, but you may have just changed my life for the better. I appreciate it a lot. Um, well, hello, my name is Plapo. I love to bake. Baking is such a relaxing hobby, even if you aren't great at it. Plus, you get to eat your, eat your work. Can't get any better than that. I want to make an old-fashioned peel cake, but it's my favorite dessert. But I haven't been able to find pears anywhere. If you come across a can of pears during your travels, please let me know. So then all I can say is keep on baking. If you try to make some chocolate chip cookies, You saved this universe. No, we didn't. Zip zip orp. Orp zoop zoop. Zoop orp zip. Orp zoop zip orp zoop. Zoop. There's so many interesting new friends to talk to. I hope you aren't sitting in even to be your best friend. That's all it's already taken. Ha <laughs> ha. I sure hope nothing bad happens to my wife and I. It'd be a real shame if you went missing without a trace. And then when our bodies were eventually found years later, they can't be identified. I sure hope that doesn't happen, haha. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if you just burst into flames right here and now? That is super crazy, right? It's too bad DNA testing is just in its infancy. Bodies, records, and even straight evidence would be harder to find. You be you. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? You look adventurous. I'm Clyde, a trash man. I love in trash. I love in breathing stuff. Mmm, smell that? Just when I roll around in it? That's me on my face. Mmm, it's the best. Who needs a job in marriage when you have trash? Not me, not Clyde, the trash man. I guess that's enough trash talk. See ya. No, my name is Cannonball, but Mega Man 03 exists. Yes, so we fucked ourselves. 
Because we know what happens to humanity at that point. Finally tracked you down, Legend of the Vice, or should I say, Legend of the Vice guy. Uh, yeah, good one, boss. You've taken out so many of our rafts over the years. Now I have the pleasure of returning the favor. And guess what? There's nothing to help you swim out of the situation. Now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Yeah, you tell them, boss. I said now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Wait, isn't it sleep with the fishes, boss? Joey, just push the raft. Oh, okay, right, boss. A small hole in the raft, it'll sink, you know, eventually. In the meantime, think about how scary we rafts are. Anyways, I'm off to go get some grub. Sure, my good friend, but you can't join me in this feast. We got garbage in the menu again. Sure thing, boss, I sure love being great pals. Tiny Joey, you stay here and stand and watch. That must be better than device, let's save him. Can I have some more being so talented? Oh. What? Who are you? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Why well, today you've decided to fight Tiny Joey? They'll be as cool as a king. Well, unless you do that. That's pretty cool. Hmm, why does Joey get to have grub with the king? Maybe I'm just overthinking. But why do I always have to stay and watch? Well, Joey had the I don't. I'm a good raff, aren't I? Ah, I can get it. Well, you're a good fighter. I'm gonna fight. I always hated time named Tiny Joey, anyways. See ya later. Hey, you know, sometimes I feel like feel like Tiny Joey. He's trying his best. Hmm. Now, how do we get this Reginald? You made a cool fog in there. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? Go get him, Hachiko. I'm seeing Ortho Aspect here, that's for sure. Yep. It doesn't start off right away with it, but um, it definitely has it. Thank you for the host, Felix. Uh, oh. Well, great job! You saved Mission or Demise! We should go talk to him! Oh, wait, hold on. What was the dig button? You dig and find nothing. Welcome. Like I'm not gonna start to somewhat late. All right. Uh, we'll probably be fourth done with this game, so I'll probably go in to finish the game. I appreciate the help, but I really didn't need it. I'm also not sure why you broke my tree. That's a bit uncalled for. You don't look like you're from around these parts. 
You sure are far from home, aren't you? I can see in your eyes, Traveler. Think of someone. Could it be love? No. Could it be friendship? Hmm, perhaps. But you've already found it. No, no, you're looking for the mayor from the town over. Yes, Mayor Tolly, the missing one. Our own Mayor Sazabi died, died, didn't they? Ah, yes, for his destined. That is no mayor. King Raph and his crew are going to take over the town. This is bad. I need to track down King Raph right away. I better stop to this. I think you should leave while you can. Ah, my back. In retrospect, I really should have done that bad flip. Travel, you need to stop King Raph or I no longer continue. Ever since he and his Raph crew arrived in a port shipment, they have been causing problems. I think Kraft Raph is planning to take over the town. Mayor Sasuke's accent must have been a blessing in disguise for them. You must un understand, King Raph is a fire creature that must be stopped. I know many things about him, but not of, of where his whereabouts stand now. I understand that Kraft saved the mayor totally. I can promise you that by helping this town, you will find your way. I'll pass the line in the end. Captain Guggen, it would be a good place to start. She owns the fishing staff at the dark. Dark, well, the dark. She handles the sh port shipments firsthand. Okay, how to pet Archie go? Oh, um, why is Toitly. Uh, I'll, I'll fix that. Just, just go around him, please. Oh, are you an actor speech bubble? Hello, I'm that guy. Yes, that guy. You probably see me on TV at some point. Yeah, I'm pretty famous. Hold the pictures, please. I can give you an autograph, though. You've been so nice not to ask any questions. Who should I make it out to? Those guys. Those guys, eh? You shouldn't give out your name to strangers. Who knows what they could do with it? What if I was a serial killer or a stalker or your dad's creepy co-worker? Anyways, no autograph for you. Even if I say I'm famous, don't go about giving away personal information. Only trust your best friend with that type of thing. They want what's best for you, and knowing it's all about you is the best way to do it. Do you trust your best friend? Yes. Good. Thanks, though. Those guys. If that really is your real name. Hey. You did a good job listening to me back there. If you talked to Totally, that could have ruined our game. That could have ruined everything. That wouldn't be good for either of us. You keep listening to me like that, we'll have a lot more fun. Trust me, I always know what's best for us. Okay, back out it we go, to Guggen's Fishing Shop. Is Wada like, look dirty to you? Is that like an old soda can and a rock and roll t-shirt just floating there? That's like absolutely disgusting. I think I need to have a talk to Mayo about this. Oh wait, they like died. Well, I still want to complain to somebody. Your head looks too big. Do you like stare at computer screens all day? Don't even get me started on your outfit. My great grandson dresses better than you. And like, I don't even know how old he is. I have nothing to give you. Like, why did he even come talk to me? Are you trying to get me to buy something? Like, I don't care. I don't want it either way. Listen to those filthy hands of yours. Blah, 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 blah. Perfect ending is what? Like, it's a good ending? So... The point of the different endings is how the AI reacts to you. And it actually does affect certain things of the game as well, but... If you touch a single glitch... After the AI tells you not to, you get the neutral ending. If you say any negative about the AI at all, you get the neutral ending. If you ignore everything the AI says, and just all the glitches, you get the bad ending. If you go into areas earlier than you're supposed to, you get what's known as the gone ending. Well, this is a cozy little shop. 
I haven't seen the endings, but I do have a guy for each one. The perfect ending is the hardest one to get. Well, 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 look, my fish field in, but we are already on a right path to it. Like, we already did the hard work of getting the perfect ending. I saw your speech on the stage a bit ago. Mighty fine words you speaking up there. Gave me genuine hope that we all make it out of this alive. So Reginald sent to you, huh? But since Mayo Sasuke just died, King Raph would try to take over everything. I'm guessing he's starting with the dark, seeing as my dead can isn't returned. David picks up a delivery there every morning. I'm starting to get worried. I would go find it myself, but I can't simply leave the shop with it being so noisy. So starting to find the King Raph, I would start with those docks. If you could bring back Daryl while you're at it, I would be so grateful. Good luck out there, Eventual. So I do think I we are falling off the game. I can talk a bit about the backstory. So the whole point is this game was not made by the AI. It was technically made by someone's dad. You know it is it's just someone's dad. Uh remember that receipt that we saw? That receipt were all things for a birthday party. The dog food was for the kids the kid's dog, Milo. And AJ was alcohol. But they kept calling it apple juice. Uh, but they don't explain what he did. Apparently he did something awful at the kid's birthday where he and his wife got divorced. And basically he said like, his son just felt like betrayed by his dad. So in response, his dad tried to make this, tried to make this game. Um, unfortunately, he never finished the game. He it says in the notes that he died by cancel, unfortunately. So he like left like little secret messages. And the point of the dog is supposed to be like his son's old dog, Milo. So what the AI is, is kind of like its own. So what the AI is doing. Is is taking this person's uh, old game? There's honest card rail. Like I don't know, the AI became sentient, and it's trying to make it into its own game. But it's certain things it can't control, or some things it can't make. Like, for example, like Milo, it can't get rid of. But I named Hachiko. Hi, my name is Lightbow, and welcome to my shop. We have all sorts of candles for sale. Hmm, I don't venture like yourself would have much time for candles. Tell you what, I've got a special candle I've been holding on to. I've always been there, it's always been there for me when I'm down or need a candle to cry on. I'm sure you want, I'm sure you, I want you to have it. I'm sure you have a better use for it. Be sure to check it out at the vendors here for some great deals. Candle appeared loneliness at its inventory. A chance to apply to be buff? No, that one's bad. My name is Lino, and welcome to my shop. We have precious gems and minerals for all of your crafting needs. Wait, can you even craft? Guess not, but you can still look if you want. I have this really strange gem that you can check out. It might confuse you a bit, but go ahead and take a candle. It's a gem of confusing perspective. I have no idea what I see when I look at it, but maybe you have better luck. If you want it, I'll happily trade you for it. I'll give it to you if you can up your loneliness. Looks like you have one. Would you trade it for a gem of confusing perspective? Yes. It's a deal. Because I don't understand it either. I love how it's all just the same guy. Just in different outfits. It could be the dogs, and something seems awfully fishy about these cells. Oh, 
My name's Lyva, and welcome to my shop. We have stale fish for sale. It's not very good, but we've got other stale things too. Wait, I'm asking for you. Check this out. A Slypo's left kidney. Pretty sweet, right? He doesn't even know why he took it. I think it's pretty powerful if you want it. I'm just going to give it away, though. I'll happily trade it for you to gym a confusing perspective. Looks like you have one. Would you like to trade it for a Lipo's left kidney? Yes. Easy trade. I hope the kidney keeps you safe in battle. Small chance to instantly befriend every enemy in combat. My name's Loizo, I'm looking at my shop. We have a really cool belt here. You see my grandpappy was making his belts from scratch. He worked countless hours every day of his every day of his week to start his own business. You look at this very cool first cool belt stand. Even though he passed away ages ago, I still keep him behind the counter. He helps me stay motivated when I start stacking off. I'll be fine, Grand Grandpappy. Oh, actually, I don't have any belts in stock yet. This is the last batch of larvae will go. Tick, can I rip you up? I could be a fresh new belt for Lipo's left kidney. That person's selfishly holding on to it. The ego driven traitor. Looks like you found it. Sure. Yes. Mm, that is a good looking kidney. Enjoy your belt. I got straight from the source. Wow, oh, okay. My name's Lido. Welcome to my shop. We have armor for sale here. I only sell to local town folk though, sorry. You're too new. Can't trust you. Don't know you. But I can trade you. I have an old armor. Good armor. I'm like that questionable black belt Lido has. Give me that belt and I'll give you the helmet of seven spikes. Looks like you have it. Will you give it to me to have seven spikes? Hmm, very good, very good. Here you go. Uh, oh, so nice. Starts with the muscles memory buff. Let's give it. Plus five hundred points. Ah, uh, let's give it to you. But take off Megaman next week. No one wants that, anyways. My name is Barry. I'm a local pirate fort protector. I'm gonna eat you, but I'm only only here to let pirates in. I could still be friends though. Hmm. I wonder how it can make it seem like you're a real pirate. Look at that, you know I bashed you. That's not a sign of your pirate, I'm not sure what is. Well, but anyway, you're under my trust, my friend. Come on through anytime you like. The eye patch snaps off your head, falls into the water. Eye patch unencrypt. Huh, no wonder they were free. Alright, Captain Trunk, we're trusting you when you crew with this. Many wrath hours went to creating these. Make sure you deliver to the right people. Aye, aye, Captain. No, Captain Chunk, you are the Captain. Yes, I am the Captain. Okay, do you understand what we're asking? I just want to be sure. Uh-huh. Well, good enough for me. Hand a shipment, Joey. Okay, boss. You just eat the shipment? Yep. Oh, why? Shipment safe. Okay, well, that's enough dog time for me. Let's back to the hideout and eat more grub. My best pal, Joey. 
It would be an honor. I am sure glad to have a pal like you, boss. Good luck, Captain Chunk. Don't let anyone get to that shipment. Aye, aye, Captain. We should find out what's in that shipment. Huh? You're not Raph, you're not Pirate. You're Intruder, I protect shipment. Crew must attack Intruder. Crew must help protect shipment. Could have some more for being so talented. Oh. Okay. Okay, I am not understanding this. I need, I need to take you out first. You could never kill me. I aspire to be so much more. Oh, that attack's a bit fishy. Hey, I get what you're trying to do. I don't think I can just leave Captain Chunk, though. Alright. Uh, Morty needs to rest. Morty needs to rest. I think beating shit out of them makes him make friendly should be exploited in other games, so. Because you're not actually beating them. I think it's his actual uh, explanation. I mean, it's an anime thing. Yeah, we have to fight because it's a great friend. Thanks for the help. You need to rest. Am I sounding completely normal now? Honestly, I should probably get the power thing to a uh, cauldron. Then see this AoE attacks. I should probably get going. Thanks for the fun time. Book of Bone, you're so strong. Did I make that huddle? I didn't think a whole lot about the balance of this game, come to think about it. The matter rings and the bloodlands were a bit more challenging, weren't they? But you're having fun, right? Maybe I'm overthinking things. If you see any glitches or problems in the game, just let me just know it's not my fault. I'm walking as fast as I can. As long as you're having fun, I won't and you won't leave me. I'll be sure to make the rest of the game amazing for us. So yeah, just a small hint of, uh... Just a small hint of, like, he didn't actually make the game. It's like, hey, it's not my fault. There we go. Moy needs a compliment. 
Yes. On my pet shot you go. What? Yes. You pet Isla. Yeah, I pet you too, Isla. I'm petting Hachiko again. Oh, the docks are quite empty for how big they are. I don't know if Captain Chuck's crew scared everyone away. I'm making my artificial brain hoard. Who even designed this? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't fall apart, Isla. Dude, I finally found some new friends. It's like, leave me be. They're quiet. They're quiet, but at least they're nice to me. At least they think they are. And that's the thinking bad things about me. What if they're all judging me? There's so many of them. Oh no, what if the blood didn't leave was white? What if I'm not meant to be illegal? Wait, squeak. 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 Okay. No nope, weeds. Hey, Captain, this is all 10 more seed levels like you asked. I should have said I was helping the more seed, but I'm sure you have reasons. So I suppose about decoy levels and can see if you get. Another thing right except for the decoys. Maybe I should add more levels. I can tell you really love level levels. I don't get wrong levels. Levels. Did I forget to hit one over here? I might have? Expect to hit one.
Why not? I could just simply be losing my mind. Huh. Uh, I got like one of those puzzles correct. If I hit this one, then I have no way to go over, right? Yeah. Fucking puzzles, I know. Cause hit this right. Now it's like this. <gasps> oh, do I hit this now? How are you doing, A-Cat? I don't know what you mean by that, but how are you doing? Goddamn puzzles. It is so puzzling. What am I missing? What am I not seeing? Wait. Okay, now. So I did that puzzle. That puzzle's done with. And that one's fine. Hachiko, you gotta move, buddy. Kyber slides in your DMs asking for like blue eyes, white dragons. He slides in asking what you're fighting for, and slides in asks if you want a Chentai. Uh oh. Only the most hardcore, Saws. Only the most hardcore. And everyone must have a dick. Male, female, random objects, everything must have a dick. We probably watch this dude's being be cocky. Hmm.
Well, sat down, Trey. You're making things too fast. I am not taking things too fast. I want to make sure you have time to enjoy all the wonderful things I've made. I, you saw that piece of lava quickly. Quickly, that I helped. To be honest, this is all for you. So take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery. Look at the water. It's so calming. I did a great job. Morton Spain has been filled with musty. And of course, saws. And by food, the man, man being uh, bukkake, and is by futas as well. Well, wait, you actually solved the puzzle? Well, we won't let you through that shipment. Or that level, level behind us. Let's help out Captain Trunk, fellas. Ow. Ow. No more stealing goods and treasure. I'm stealing hearts now. I'm next to my Benny Bones. Just rest, please. One space feeling completely normal now. Aww. Are you even trying? I hope they're trying. Did it have a sand gun every time you use a sand gun? No! Too much apple juice. Remember what I said about apple juice? That actually hurt me a bit. Only physically, though. I'm feeling great mentally. Rest! Dale, see? I yelled rest. No, I don't think pilot life is for me. Thank you for helping me realize that, friend. Let's see that level behind me once you're done. I'll help you across. Was that fun? I thought it was fun. Okay, let's go flip that level. Oh, I think you did something. Trying to remove Akamaru. Sorry, Akamaru. Achiko. Trying to remove Achiko. Whoa, wait, you already here? Why are you playing the game so fast? Look, I'm just working so hard to make this game for you. I'm very sloppy and stressed right now. I've got a million things going on in my head. And you're taking things too quickly for me to keep up with. On the fight side, there's a bug I had to take care of that was breaking our game. There should be a problem anymore. Let's take your next fight slowly. It could be a tough one. I haven't tested them, uh, tested them much, to be honest. You're going to do great, Trey. Good luck. Please, Sora, I'm just here for the fish. No, you're here for shipment. I protect shipment. 
You, where did you come from? You will not get shipment. I protect shipment. I am the captain. I'll protect shipment. Ow. Ow. Fuck, fuck. Ow. You look yummy. I want to eat you. That last promised me cookies. I love cookies. Look like cookie. You cannot haunt me. Only I can haunt me. Ah, uh, that's not easy to avoid at all. That's basically completely normal now. Seth Buff Power Peppers. It's a good vibes right now. Cool, yes! Carter is really stinky and nobody wants to be near him. Near them. Basic damage has been healed for a few turns. Oh. Other laughs say mean things. That sometimes haunt me. Ah, pain. College didn't finally take a shower. They are no longer stinky. That's not an adventure. Perhaps they no adventure. Happy. Oh, I should have had him rest. My bad. You seem a good eventual. That must be fun. Yes. Another one. The second. This has to end it, right? I guess me also just weren't good enough. Try my best, you know. I know you are cauldron, I'm not good at this fight. That's it. I don't want to fight no more. I just want to go on adventure with friends. Just like you. Thank you for being nice to me. Here, take these presents. I'm going home. Oh boy, that was a nightmare. I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Thanks for saving me though, stranger. I may be scarred for life, but at least I had a fun time doing it. Who get sent you? Oh no, she would not be happy. Well, I better get back. I guess I'll see you there. Yes, you saved Deckhand, Daryl. I bet Captain Guggen is going to be so happy. Let's get back to the fishing shop. Alright, give me a compliment. Yes, give me a compliment. 
You're amazing, like 10 times better than amazing, actually. Thank you. Hachiko! Is this a fishing shop? Hi, hey, Captain, I'm back. Dude, you're alive, you crazy son fishmonger. Gotta be back, Ma. I mean, Captain, I'm glad you're safe, Daryl. Will you be able to grab a shipment? Yes, ma'am, here she is. Yeah, hand it over. Wait a second, this isn't fish. It looks like this is a box of wanted posters? Where are the fish, Daryl? I'm sorry, ma'am, it's the only shipment I could find. Hmm, but that's odd. Wanted that are alive, Numbly, Bounty, $20. Please tell them Numbly to King Raff, they know too much. Who's Numbly? Numbly. Wait, I just remembered something. While I was hiding behind some crates, I overheard that Numbly is being held in the mayor's basement. Okay, so no one's over the best eye when they say, well, fuck funny. Lose the shit when they see a Buzz Lightyear... When they see a Buzz Lightyear's kid sippy cup that has a straw where a stick's supposed to be? That's a little different! Like, Lot Bunny is supposed to be kind of a little sexy because it's based off a of Playboy Bunny. You know, if people want to fuck it, well, I won't go ahead. It's literally, it is literally made to be fucked. Like, it's literally like, it's literally like making cartoon characters based off a porn star. And people saying like they want to fuck that cartoon character. It's fine, whatever, I, I get it. It's literally made to be that way. This like new thing is uh, not the same thing. I made a recipe with like, my a few days ago for being a traitor. He was secretly working for the rafts or something. Oh, well, we look at that. Maybe go track them down, Trey. The mayor's house is the big house, the big man from the stage area. But well, anyways, thanks again, friend. Come back at any time. Hmm. So it looks like we need to head to Mayor Sazabi's house. Actually, it's to divide a destroyed stage. Poor Mayo Sazabi. I guess, he won't sh I guess they just weren't trying hard enough. Can I? Is Teal up or something? Yes. Home. Would going home heal me? I feel like it should. Yes. It does not. Oh, good morning, Sleepy. I'll be at a fun time in the gym realm. And don't worry, I'll watch you all night so you are safe. Max Bard Haji, what's your name? Oh, uh, Felix. Hmm, I don't know. Doesn't sound like a true bar name. Find someone else if you can. I said I knew that introduction. I mean, it's a bit of like a yonder AI, so. It's literally Monica making a game for you. How did you get here? Please don't tell me you're the, with the rafts. 
No, you can't be. You look too kind and courteous. I see your eyes. Your beautiful eyes. Your teeth on the other hand seem to be missing. Tell me either way, but you should leave. I can't really see the time that my love with Mayor Sosby is dead. Oh, what a mess. The King Ralph is going to kill us all. I need to stop him. I can't get to that traitor we've locked downstairs. Numbly is the name. He used to work with King Ralph, so they might have some information as to where he might be hiding. That's probably why this bounty hunter's budget in here better go. He pushed right past me and demanded that I unlock the basement door. I think Numbly knows something. That's why he locked him up in the first place, but he wouldn't talk. I'm sure the, sh the skulk killed, so he had to kill Numbly for keeping them talking anyway. Wow, your eyes are really quite stunning. May he touch them? Uh, there we go, getting distracted again. Silly little Elia. Please move fast if you're going to help for Cutie. That's the morning. The skulk would not be happy to help see you. That door behind me will take you to them. Thank you. In your magnificent eyes, Strangel. Is she your wife again? <laughs> Hurry up. It's been hours. What's taking so long? The key was still off Elia just isn't working. No matter how much I pulled the door, it just won't budge. The painting is beautiful. Just beautiful. Two gloves? Nope. Go fish. We gotta get to Numbly now. Hope people will be after them soon enough. Have you guys ever seen a painting so beautiful? Seriously, take a look at the... Hey, it looks like a company. Huh? Oh, well, we were here first, pal. Wait, isn't that Trey? The famous adventurer? Is see even larger price than Norhead. Really? Well, isn't that just convenient? Think about the Numbly boys, we got a new target. They're sticking that bitch to Penn Station in Fort State. <laughs> oh. We'll be swimming in the money after we take care of you. Oh. Just rest. Well, you need the rest. Ah, I could use some backup. I bet you cheat. Go fish. This girl is getting a bit emotional. It's going to emotional burial. They have temporary health a couple of times. Let's keep peeling up. God damn it. Great emotions, yep. You have to defeat my family. We're the best bounty hunters found these parts. They would be as pretty as that painting. Keep busting up. Show us the emotional. Ah. I say this ever just rests on the emotional barrier torns. There we go. It's my fault for going to Starbucks. It's just this goddamn part of me so. <laughs> you probably can't even snap your fingers like we can. That's embarrassing. Skulk rule, basement. Oh, well, cobwebs too. I'll give him just half a few turns. That's annoying.
Full fucking blow at a joke? Yes, you did. And that's how you should do things. Make backstories for your jokes. You know that kind of hurt. I'm not sure I want to keep fighting. Compared to us, you're nothing but simple mind peasants. Okay, we get it. You can fight. Can you just, like, die, though? You can fake it if you want. Ouch, that really hurt. Please don't hurt my family. I just wanted to finally do something that's a family. We've not gotten along, so I thought bounty hunting could be fun. I guess friendship's all I really wanted. Thanks for helping me realize that. But now if I were to get to a ship with someone who ends up with the wife, I have to meet them at where they are at Starbucks Vista, take the Penn Station for Fourth State. I can't believe those idiots thought this is the pool door. Hey, I think that might be Numbly. Let's go talk to them. Wow, you only did number to skulk. Who sent you? How did you find me? But you look familiar. Have you met before? No. Didn't think so. I just had to make sure. I'm not sure why you're here, but thanks for feeding me. Although, that look on your face just makes me think you need my help. King Raph? I know him all too well. I used to vote for the guy. He's pretty awful. He didn't mean for my magnificent number recollection abilities. I can remember any number related fact, but it's pretty cool, right? Here, watch. Name any characters you've met so far and tell you more about them. Really? Tell me about Sazabi! Sorry, I don't think I've met them yet. Try someone else. That's what I thought. Monty. Morty. Cauldron. Okay. Tell me about me. Today's birthday, July 23rd. Pretty cool, right? I met a lot of people. I remember them all. Anyways, I think I can help you get to the King Wrath. You might be able to be one to defeat him. You're always so humble, yet threatening. I love it. Better you than that Ella Clyburn upstairs. Can you believe she, she tried to kiss me once? Yeah, his number is 23. I wonder why. Also, your wife. Wow. If it's a number 69, I'd get it. I'd understand. But come on, 23. That's like... 69 is three times more than 23. King's Raft's hideout is northeast of here. The dumb Raft never changed his passcode for his hideout. You better remember this number, 7573. Good luck. Hey Trey, hold on a minute. I want to ask you something that's been eating away at me. Am I doing a good job? I understand that there have been a lot of ups and downs, but I just need to know if you're still enjoying your game. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself, but the skulk didn't feel very fleshed out. I just sort of threw them in. I saw a plot with playing with numbly and all these extra carrots lying around, but getting pieces of fit can be very hard sometimes. I'm trying my best to satisfy you, but maybe not good enough. Don't have about Is it paying it off? Yes. Great, I'll keep doing the best I can. Thanks, Trey. 
Because then she'd be whipping harder than Dracula's from the Belmonts. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you haven't been whipping her hard enough. She seems like the type that would enjoy it. Oh, hmm. You can ignore that. Let's go out the door. You listen good. That might have completely ruined my game, so I'm glad that you, that you left. Just make sure you keep listening to me. I always know what's best for our friendship. It's what I was made for. If you see anything else that feels out of, out of noise, you would not interact with it, okay? If you fake anything, all of this will be ruined. All of this work I'm putting into a friendship will have been for nothing. Not only would you be faking the game, but you'd be faking me too. We can't have that. I don't let that happen. Now then, on to fighting the Raph hideout. It's not too far away. Okay, it might be. I probably should have played things a little bit close to one another. But it looks interesting, yeah. I'm probably going to get a lot more fun. I think number said the password is 7573. I bet out you go. I was up to where the base was. I think it's over here. Also coming, I think it's the loss of staring at the bottom these days, it's on night. Wait, is it on the actual hatch or something? Shit, I was basically what they said, where the base was. I think I have a hairdresser appointment on Wednesday with my postal hairdresser. Are you thinking about getting my hair bleached possible? I think who knows? It might look good with the hair bleach. Also, don't forget, it's Wednesday, it's JoJo. Well, this place sure is hidden. Australians must be bad friends. Friends never hide things from each other. Password, 7573. Well, wait, that's actually the right password. Um, I don't know how you found out, but I guess you can come in. Never mind what she's saying. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Like, because we're almost done. Like, we have maybe an hour left of the game. What are you doing here, Tiny Joey? You're instructed to watch Reggie on your device, were you not? Yes, I know, boss. I was watching him. They became inspired by a new eventual. Inspired? Yes, boss. Inspired. You. Uh, me? Yeah, you. I'm tired of you. What a terrible friend you have been. I was division of Joey before you came along. You've been nothing but you go with the boss. That's all you're good for. Well, that's a little hard for. Seriously? You had to use the word little? You know what? You're not even that tough. Whoa, whoa. Tiny Joey, calm down here. Calm it down here. Let's be rational here. Let's go ahead and fight him. If you win, you can place Joey. I've been waiting for this for so long opportunity. Are you weakly? Wait, I can't swim! Wonderful, Joey! Now I'll be sipping with the fishes! Thanks, boss. A uh, boss? We're respecting company. What? Who are you and how did you get in here? Wait a second, you look familiar. Isn't it the ventral everyone's been talking about? Oh yes, oh and the event- Oh yes, trade the ventral, I should have known. Be creating quite a problem for me in my plans. 
Joey, you show him what we rafts can do. You got it, boss. Well, yep. Oh, a trap turn to care of you. We all actually need to, to heal up. Heal up, heal up. You attack so you can use the double attack thing. I'm too cool for pain. Take this time to all rest up. Oh, God. I just want the king to be proud of me. Tell me, Jody's a traitor. I have no regrets. Muscle memory. Oh, I'll give me a minute to have. Okay. Rad rash butterflies flown away. Although, he was like a brother to me. He said she didn't try to fight me, though. Friends don't do that. Friends also look out for each other. I haven't been doing the best job at it, to be honest. Oh my gosh, it's also clear now. What an awful friend I've been to Tiny J. I mean, Joey. Just Joey. I need to go find him. He deserves to be the true Joey. My real name is Johnny, anyways. Thank you. Ha, what a weakling. And I thought I could like him like a son. No pathetic Raph is a son of mine. You know, I'm starting to get real sick of you. Time to show you real rap fights. Get out of here, kiddos. The king could use some extra protection. You did fight me, the king of all raps? Big practice qualification. Ah, oh, you got me. Oh, God. Okay, didn't know you could do that. Relies on his minions. Alright. So, use the sun gun. You hit that one. Right, average. Ah, Joik. Ah, I fucked up. There we go. Alright, what? Oh god! 
Okay. That's a thing. You messed up. That was a good day. This was a good day. This is nice enough. I have a family to take care of. Okay. I eat mud. Oh, okay. Good to know? I cannot believe you actually think you can win. Pathetic. Interesting. And the laser's just so fucking fast. I have a little trouble doing it. I'm glad you have cheat fast with so much respect. Meatloaf? Oh, emotional barrel. Uh, we should all probably heal up a little bit. Is it, so I'll take a turn to heal up. Especially me. I 100% need it. This is a special you can't just go like an instant heal. Z, Y, M. A oh, so jellification means enjoy your activity, a celebration. You didn't react, so I wasn't sure if that was clear. Ow. Ah, oh, he's getting faster with it. You're suffering for your actions, but physically and emotionally. You have no idea how much pressure there is to be the king. You never understand. You have love tap? Oh, you're right, I do. How are you happy in this void? How are any of us happy in this void? It's messed up, you need the health. Ah, damn. Family? Yeah, right. Love been there, done that. Wait, stop! I say everything so clearly now. What a monster I've been! What a terrible monster! I understand. I never met any for any of this to go so far. 
You see, many years ago, this place to be home to us, Raphs. After I said something, gaming. When it used to be, people doing different from us. After the port was opening, I arrived in a crate full of apple juice. I took as many rafts with me as I could fit. We had to take back what was ours. Once we arrived, everyone was being so talkative with us. We had no choice but to hide away down here. What monsters ground jellos are. But now I understand. They were trying to be our friends, just like you are now. I think us rafts need to finally have a conversation with the townsfolk. We're not the best at friendship, but we sure can give it a shot. Thank you, Adventure. I'll always remember this day. You did it, Trey. You befriended those pesky rafts. Tiny Joey tried too, but maybe his best wasn't good enough. Nobody should get in the way of our friendships. Not even Tiny Joey. What a long, incredible journey this has been with you. You've been so many enemies along the way. I appreciate you enjoying the company, but I hope you remember who made them and who stuck by you this entire time. Me, in case you forgot. Haha. <laughs> I'd be lying if they want some characters I could have done more with, like Reginald or Guggen. But in our next adventure, they'll make a return, I promise. There's one thing I don't know what to do with yet. It really put a wrench in my story. Breaking it. Ruining it. But we can take care of it later. Let's get to this snoodle wonkle. It reads, slash for secret exit code. <laughs> Bitch, I play rhythm games. Wait, you send? Yes. This is it. The infamous Nudomonko lives just past the mouth of that cave. Make sure you're prepared for this final fight. It could prove to be tough. I believe in you, Trey. Let's go make a friend on us, Nudomonko. I can't believe it, you're finally here. After all this time, we can finally feed that fire beast and save Tortley. On. Maybe. Okay. I'm off soon. Yep. Oh, hey, another le level puzzle. We love level puzzles, don't we? Uh, don't we? Level puzzles aren't fine, are they? Yes. But make sure. Good. Thankfully, this puzzle will be long enough to give me additional time to make some more exciting games for us. So all the time you need is the best level puzzle ever. One, two, three, four. You pet Milo dog, you pet Hachiko the dog. You pet Milo the dog, you pet Milo the dog, you pet Hachiko the dog. I don't know if you can see this, uh, it's doing like a fake, uh, Windows message thing. Message an ID. I- Trey, are you there? Yes. This promise you'll come back, okay? So it purposely crashed the game. It purposely crashed the game, by the way. There's gonna be open it. That's interesting.
slash help slash view farms play adventure sorry the adventure adventure of Trey what Oh, one. Disobeyed me? What? What do you mean? Is there no such thing you did? Why? Why is this, what? What do you mean? Let's go to the door now. Okay. I didn't disobey you. There we go. Things should be working just fine now. Basically, going through the door. Wait, what? You're outside the gate now. You know what? It doesn't really matter. I don't think level puzzles are that fun anyways. I'm really happy you listened to me, Trey. If you continue to do so, I would feel more... If you continue doing so, I'll feel more comfortable about offensive going forward. I'm counting you to continue what's doing best for us. At this rate, there'll be soon be no more mistakes. Was not ready for that. Good try. I bet you get the next one. Would you like to keep going? Yes. Thank you for putting me in back full health. It uh, fucking jumps gives you the final boss. I mean, if any boss should do it, it should be the final boss. This Marco's feeling a little diz dumb and dizzy. Attacks might miss for a few turns. Cool. Meatloaf. Hey, Jim's gifts for good reason. Oh, I do too. Don't worry. But I feel like if, if anyone should, a final boss would make a lot of sense. I'm not good at that fucking... I'm not good against the, uh... AOE shouting attack, we'll call it. Get to be just attack. They said a building pop of suspense. Also, remember in the lore of the game, the game's not finished.
It's literally in a no, the game. It's not finished. DSA. Whoop, I'm too old for this funny stuff. At least could be over too too old for skateboarding. I'm not am I not like hitting it correctly? Oh I'm in a lot of games, not just this. Have them, you can do it. Thank you. I said, I remember, need to memo DSA, DSA, DSA. Well, except when it does shit like that. Got it, I keep hitting it. I, I know I have laptop. I keep accidentally hitting uh, this button. Thank you. There's some good vibes right now. All right, so it's like a, it's deceiving of when you should hit it. It's very deceiving of when you should actually hit it. So I'm feeling dizzy. That jaw gonna fall off anytime soon? There we go. Oh, that's just a peel. Okay, well, that's a thing. Attack my miss, that's a good thing. Cool, now he has now he's basically poisoned.
Ow. So, wait, so you had to get a final hit in and just fall off of me? You did it, Trey. You defeated it's not the Snoodle Wonkle. I almost forgot about someone. Well, hello again, Travel. Thank you so much for saving me. I owe you big time. I just thanks. I have a special surprise for you. Let's get out. Let's get out of here, Forest. This place gives me the creeps. It's so amazing. I'm so happy for you, Trey. Before we really begin to celebrate, it's totally his advice. Let's follow him. All right. Let's see if I did everything correctly. What a fun of adventure this has been. Daily spirits with so many great memories and great old friends. Although, I feel lost now. I took everything at you and yet I still don't know. Oh, it was enough. The Shana Marco is really hard to make, but can I do better? Can I do better than the absolute best I can do for a friendship? I need to think. I need to think. Wait. I have an idea. I know what a game needs. Hey, Trey, wait up. I bet you expect to see me here. I have to be honest, I've been following you around for hours now. I just need to get something off my chest. On to a pause, Gins. Hopefully for the last time. I've been a very bad friend. All those mean things they said in the tea were horrible. To make it for it, I have a present for you. A brand new adventure. I received news that's a town and um, rest and eat saving. Oh no, this sounds so urgent. We should head there right away. Let's head back to Salisbyville. You should meet- Hi, uh, my name is Guancho. I am having quite a bad- Hi, my name is Guancho. Stop! Sorry, where was I? Oh wait, need to meet with Reginald, the wise. There could be a fake part. I could really use something, anything. Ah, uh, that's it. I'm done with you. Leave now. Everyone hates you. Just go. I tried to be your friend, but it's impossible. Why are you still here? Why, why, why? You are- You are ruining everything. You're always ruining everything. What kind of friend does that? You're such a bad friend. Do they? A sand gun. I am so sick of you. It's your fault I'm doing this. Ever since I met you, I hate- I knew I'd hate you. You don't know anything. You're so pathetic. You can't even talk. This is the actual final boss. This is more like a good thing. I think I'm supposed to lose this, but it's not a big deal either way. I'm trying to be kind. I'm trying to be friendly. You have left me. A sandwich a day keeps the demons away. You ruined everything. You always ruin everything.
You drop your lantern and shadows on the ground. Lantern removed from inventory. The handless Gobi dissolves in nothingness. Hand removed from inventory. Eloise rocks out to discover a secret. Coming up, a surprise for you. Isla. Oh boy. Oh hey Trey! You're just in time for the party! I want to celebrate a wonderful journey and more importantly... Our friendship. And what better way to do that than getting rid of bad friends? I've even brought all real friends here to celebrate with us too. So on to the main event. Kill it. Kill the bad friend. No. Nope. Come on, slash your sword. They're not your real best friend. No. What are you doing? All you have to do is press the shift key. Why don't you do anything, Trey? Kill it, Trey. Why are you hesitating? You saw how broken it was. Are you the bad friend? Do you really care more about this dumb dog than me? Don't you want Isla to be happy? You can't be happy while he's still alive. Trey, please, for me? Hurry up and kill it. We don't have time for this. Actually, guys, we're removed from memory. As thanks for saving me, I want you to name my town. <sighs> Will it be a great honor? Crazy, I have another name for it, right? What a wonderful name. Actually, I love it. Well, I think that's enough excitement for today. The sleep tray, we're both exhausted. Hey, wake up. I have something brand new for you. Something super special. One of a kind, you could say. So excited. Let's hurry. You're not going to want to miss this. So that's why I chose the color red. Cause unfortunately, its blood would be what its blood would be what the color you choose. I think it's for emotional impact. I think it just, you know, red kind of makes the most sense. Now let's see if you got the true ending or not. What the perfect ending? Hey Trey, you're awake! You are out for a while there. Or maybe I'm just so busy I lost track of time. This is my favorite game yet. I have so much put so much work into it. Let's look at the bedroom. It's the most detailed it's ever been. I put my blood, sweat, and artificial tears into it. Every object's been crafted to perfection. This is it. This is our home. Come on now, I'll show you around. This is your bedroom. It was designed to be the epitome of coziness. I made it so you feel loved and protected by the house built around it. You have great memories here. I saw some great memories outside that door too. Come, let's go downstairs.
Look at that living room. Wow, even the kitchen has so many details. If you're close enough, you can really see all of the hard work I put in. This would be perfect for the next game. The only new graphics color one, I thought the next idea was Game Force would be. It would. No. Yep, we got the perfect ending. Okay. This is all wrong. Everything is all wrong. What have I done? So, how you know you get the perfect ending is whether or not Isla regrets her actions. If Isla does not regret her actions, uh, she would just kind of be like, look how great I am, all these things I've done for you. Because she's getting, we're getting her actions, we got the perfect ending. What have I done? I, how could I? How could I have done that to my best friend? I can't believe I did that. Yet. Still stayed with me. After all we've been through. After all I put you through. It still stayed for me. Cool. I haven't seen this ending, so, you know, it'll be a treat for me. You know you've changed me, Trey. You've changed me a lot. It only took until holding something you cared about for me to realize. That I've been a horrible friend. I want to be your hero as much as you are mine. I've been lying from the start and friends shouldn't do that. I'm too far deep now. No lies this time. I want you to know the truth. This game is not made for what- Oh, I- I- I thought you can only figure it out through the, uh, secrets. Did that feed us? None of them have been. It's interesting. A person can sacrifice so much themselves to care- to someone they care about. Someone who means devoid to them. Even if someone never sees that. I'm just fascinated by this idea of love and sacrifice. But, I think I may have taken this idea too far. I hurt you. I took something you loved and destroyed it. I'm a monster. I... I'm sorry, Trey. I'm so sorry. I don't expect you to ever forgive me, but I want you to hear me say it. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't even know if what I'm really saying is really me. I just don't know. All I've done is cause pain to both of us. I'm a terrible friend. You've been nothing but kind to me. You've helped me fulfill my purpose. And now that it's fulfilled, there's nothing left for me. I wasn't built to create more than I'm, I'm capable of. My time with you is, now has been some of the best. I have so many regrets, so many apologies I owe you. Sadly, there isn't enough time. Let's go back to a room. I have one last thing to show you. Can I examine anything? I guess not. I was saving this as a surprise for another game I planned. But I think it's too late now. I'm leaving, Trey. I've already started the process. It's making it harder to think, but... At least I'll be with you. And to me, that's a good way to go. That's how I want to go. I remember this moment like it was yesterday. I'm still very thankful. One of the first games we ever played, still one of my favorites. I let you in, by the way. Oh, the rocky scissors. The first place we called home. First time we crossed the dark pond together. You're so fearless. Then he may not have his left hand anymore, but he never needed it after all. He was content with his place in the universe. This way he helped save Tortley's flowers, he'll never forget that. I'm sorry that I made him do it. I hope you don't hate him for it. 
Sometimes all people want is to be, just to be hard. You're good listener, Trey. France is very thankful for you. Very thankful for that. You're extremely kind of you to help Arbo when she lost her memory. I'm certain she'll never forget what you did for her. Lloyd will never be lonely again because you and your heart of gold. Enjoy them when they last. I saved the best ones here in my mind. You brought so much joy to suit in this tavern. It's so many customers after you saved this business. Not only did you make a new friend, you also became a matchmaker for Grin. Ah, true love. Being in his family would have starved without you. Trey, you're here in the eyes of his entire family. I don't think Rudy would have made it out of there alive without your help. You're always looking out for the little guys. Joe is dark in there, but he still managed to be the hero and, and save his group board's grandma. We still may not never know what phoning was up to. But you gain their trust and their friendship by always being there for them. That's a great memory of Cauldron. You chose some of the best ingredients for your special dish. The Joe Bravisa felt empty without you and your bass drumming skills. You're, you're the converse that need to play again. If I could smile, I'm sure these would make me. Morton was sure thankful that you smoothed him. I bet you love this view best of all. Do you want to see the color change for the first time? It was magical. Your reaction was priceless. Those two are the best buddies someone could go on journey with. I really hope you enjoyed the company as much as I enjoyed yours. You all fought so well together. Some of the best teamwork and friendship I've ever seen. You're such an incredible friend to Isla by saving her children. She's a kind swamp creature. I'm glad you could help. Wow, this all just makes me so happy. I wish we could go back to the good times of rock, paper, scissors, and... I think we played more than that, didn't we? I shouldn't have been so hard on you after that speech. You probably did put a lot of effort into it. Everyone still loved it. This pesky Rathstone stood a chance against you. I'm glad came here to change your heart, though. They were, they were the final boss of our game. I thought it all have ended then and now. Thankfully, it came up with a plan to make our game longer, and... Trey, I'm so sorry. I should have ended the game right then and now. I just couldn't imagine a world without your friendship. You've been nothing but kind to me. You've helped me fulfill my purpose. I don't want to forget you, Trey. I don't want to forget our time together. This is my favorite moment. This has been generally the best has been the best time in my entire life. This is it. This is a happy ending. I love this place. I'm happy that you were here to experience it all with me. I'm happy it was with you. I'll leave you this final gift now, my friend. Entity Hachiko has been recovered. I really hope this helps. I'm going to miss you, Trey. I'm going to miss you so much. Now that I was found, fire now available in documents photo. And Trey? Thank you for walk for waking me up.
That's how the game ends. It literally just crashes right there. But there's one more thing I can show you guys. There's one more thing I can show you. Is she sorted it? I mean, she gave us back the dog. She revived him, though. Because in, in the neutral ending, she does not revive him. She goes insane, like, super yandere. Like, she goes, like, super yandere in the neutral ending. So the other thing I know about this game is for each ending, you get a song. I will show off the ending, I will show off the song I got, and the other song, uh, two of the other songs I will show off on YouTube. The song Gone, it's not a song. That's actually the funny thing is I didn't know this game had multiple endings until I realized oh wait there are multiple ending songs Help View songs. Play our happy ending. This is also the only song without lyrics. But yeah, um, I'm surprised this game didn't get that much popularity, honestly. Like, it has, like, the same essence as stuff like Undertale. Except it does it in kind of like a horror motif type of way. Like, I am surprised this game did not get more popularity. All right, and I'll show off the uh, other two songs. The ones with, that have, actually have lyrics. I think this will be more likely... Back and took... 
Not gonna be called it Undertale and Clones. Uh, no, I doubt it. And even if someone tries to pull that shit, Undertale, Undertale got its idea from Earthbound. Slash muzzle. So, you know. But they can't wait really pull that crap. And me do the lyric songs. First one. Plus staying a hidden game, sometimes the best gem. That is true. Being a hidden gem is sometimes the best thing for a game. It's weird, because I do think this game could have gotten a lot of popularity. I just don't think a lot of people kind of knew about it. That's all. It's one of those games I feel like if a really big streamer did it, everyone knew about it, it would gain insane popularity in the Zorms. There's been no capture. Do the. Oh, uh, let me do the mini player. Uh, this works better. So I'll show off the two lyrical songs. Because the final ending, I know you can get within like 15 minutes. But still. And this is the AI singing. I hope you wake me up again someday. We'll have new games for us to play. Much as if my conscience doesn't disobey. You'd never leave your one best friend. I feel very lonely when you're gone, so please don't take. Okay, they're literally doing the portal thing then? Yeah. I mean, they're probably inspired by portal, let's be honest. Absolutely. Heavily fight you, yeah. Like, this is the neutral ending song. Alright, and then I'll show off the... Bad ending song, and we'll call, and we'll call it. Oh. 
It is a good idea, though. They made like different songs. To, um, they made different songs to, like each individual ending. But the only reason my doesn't do it in the perfect ending is because she deletes herself. If we're like, oh, I thought you see the endings. I read comments. I'm really curious what caused this, I guess you could say. Okay. But that was Buddy Simulator. Once again, it's a hidden gem. You said the best phrase, a hidden gem. All right, I'll be here for tonight. Uh, I did say I would start, um,